Who stinks? You stink. Why? You know what you did, you son of a bitch. Welcome ah. back to Collider Live. It's Thursday. It is Thursday, and I can uh, I can admit and tell you, I can confirm, Josh McCougar is not only scared of horror movies, <laughs> he's scared of everything. everything. Um, and I can tell you why in just a bit here. But we are going to get into a whole bunch of stuff today, ladies and gentlemen, on this Thursday wonderful edition of Collider Live. Joining us, as always, is the Marcus, is the Yodiest, is the Riliest. Hello, Mark. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice Looking to see you. Looking svelte. Svelte. Yeah. Yeah. Looking I know. Good. People have been really noticing that. Yeah. Uh, and you're wearing black. So I see what you helps. did there. It yeah. Helps. yeah. Does it help? Even All if you're right. a big old. Shredding for the wedding. Shrek. You Shredding still look for the good. wedding. Yeah. yeah. Although you can't do push ups with a dog in the house. That's what I've learned. <laughs> shit, shit right in your face. She gets right under me and just, ah, and I'm like, all right, okay, okay, now don't bite my nose, okay, all right, all right not she's working still out a here. Baby. She'll get used just to put her on your back. Yeah. <laughs> she did. Jump. Yeah. I was doing that. She went over and she <laughs> put both paws. Do the goat and yoga, and I was like, she's goddamn. You know, have you seen this the, goat yoga? The, the princess. Of, yes. The princess of death. The iron nipple is here. It <laughs> the is, iron nipple. It is, yeah. It is Dorina. Two, two face boobs. Uh, two face boobs. That's what you can call yeah. me now. People yeah. like, Do you have why, nipples first? No, 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 I'll uh, tell you in a second. No, no. People are like, well, wait, no. wait a minute. Why, why, why would you say something like yeah, that? Here we go. In the yeah. Me Too movement. Be careful. Take it easy. Take it easy. It was a post that she made. We'll get into My it in a second. My boob has a hashtag Me Too. Yeah, you know. After, you're, you're, you're Just abu- the one? You're abusing yeah. it. Uh, yeah, she, was, she abused her own body. Yeah, I had a little accident. And we'll talk about that. People are going to tune in for that alone. We should have called it burnt nipples. Instead of who stinks. Um, <laughs> I wish we had thought about that on our text exchange yesterday. Well, we'll talk about how we came up to the title. In yeah, yeah. But I want to talk about how I scared Makuga. It was fun today. Ooh. I was driving through the alley, and I see him. He just kind of looked like uh, Bruce Banner as he walks in right before he turns into the Incredible Hulk. And he's just walking through with his with his satchel on his uh, shoulder. It is a satchel. And, uh, and so, you know, you always say hello to your friends in the morning when you mm-hmm. drive by him. So I slammed on the horn as, as much as I could, and he, he jumped five feet, and then... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would have too. Uh, it's, a sure. it's a loud it's, horn. It's a loud horn. like a tugboat. <laughs> you got scared when I tried to hug you today. Uh, well, I thought behind. you were... Well, uh-huh. so, <laughs> well, there you go. So you can't I thought do that anymore. Dorina, because she is the princess of death, queen yeah. of evil, uh-huh. uh, all things black, uh, She, I thought that Perry had said, how are you doing, Josh? But it was Dorina behind me, but she mm. had thrown her voice like oh, some creepy... Like a puppeteer. Student. Yes. And I was like, good, Perry. And she looked, Perry looked at me, and then Dorina like, touched me on the shoulder. and was like, Because <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. I was just on. greeting you. Yeah. It's because no. Perry and I, uh, we were on the yeah, Witching Hour no. podcast together talking uh, about witches. Yes. So that's what happened. Love witches. You love that. Totally. That's good. I asked him, I asked, him, were you here? Were you on the show when we talked about Black Phillip? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. he didn't know what the fuck we were talking about. Yeah, had no idea. Still yeah he's know. great. Some sweet black, black guy named Phil. Yeah. Don't you want to live deliciously, Josh? Well, that's uh, creepy, isn't it? Uh, not the way you said it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said it maybe, in a way. Maybe if somebody was like, hello, sir, would you like to live right. deliciously? And it's outside of a candy store? Sure. Yeah. But you going like, Josh, don't you want to live deliciously? Do- doesn't, yes. doesn't end well. Ever. No. Doesn't end well. No. Uh, Okay. Start or it starts with a whip, yeah. um, <laughs> what, or a start. shank. Yeah. So people, so people, people know. The other day, so Drina tweeted out, uh, just very, very quick, very quickly that she tell tell the people what happened. I had a curling iron accident. Uh, I'd say. And I burned my nipple. <laughs> with yeah. the curling iron. Yes. <laughs> like, like it's the dumbest thing I've ever done. No, actually, Amanda's surprisingly, it. it's not. But what do you do though? Do you? So she has. Okay, mm-hmm. so there's other people that people have done do it all this. People all the time. Totally. He said. He said his fiance does it also. She. Okay. She has done it. So they. So okay. So I'm not the only <laughs> I don't think girl so. that does thing. this naked, right? Well, yeah. No. Okay. Good. Because right, so people are like, "Why are you naked?" I'm like, "Why would I have clothes on in my house?" Right. What are you gonna light yourself on fire? Right. Most yeah. girls' clothes. She's a witch. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, she actually can. She is the. She's Alessandra. The red. Yeah. She lit a trench. Sorry, Mike. Um, oh, you're fine. The, but I burned uh, myself instead of creating fire other, for other right, people. Right. It must have been made of holy water. But a lot of female... Oh, my God. I left my wedding ring at home. My wife is going to fucking kill me. <laughs> <laughs> don't, wait. Don't bring attention to it. Wait. Too late. Uh, <laughs> like, I fidget with it all the time. You fidget with yours, I'm sure. It hasn't left my hand yeah. in a long time. Well, see, I like. I have trouble working out with it on because it get, it like... But isn't it funny though with the, with the wedding ring? We'll get back to the nipple in a second. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the wedding ring, though, isn't it? It's like when you first get it, it, it it's it, you know it's there. Yes. And my, I remember my my Bennett, who you met yeah. for Bachelor, was like, yeah. "It's just, you're not even gonna realize it's part. Of, it's gonna be part of your hand. So yes. It just becomes a part of your hand. Yeah, I've no, never worn it. Totally. That's no. why. That's no, why I was like, I never wear mine. What? what? No. Yeah. yeah, but uh, you have a different you you have a different like understanding. Yeah, that's true. We have yeah. a weird. 
relationship. Awesome. Nipple, a, weird relationship. <laughs> yeah. A, a burnt nipple situation. Yeah. Right. yeah. So back to the nipple. <laughs> so we, we uh, it but, doesn't stink. It just hurts. It just hurts. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's well, that was the no, thing. No, it look. It, my boobs really look like Two Face. But this is what this is my this is the question I had though because you tweeted this out right. Yeah. Do you? <laughs> You're, you're doing the hair. The accident happens. Do you immediately put the iron down and then tweet it out, no, or you feel the pain, get was, some ice, and then tweet it out? What happened was it felt it wasn't secure, and right. so the the top thing that's hot literally fell on my fucking boob. So, and you, you scream. And, you and scream I screamed like, in okay. Spanish. Ice. And Brendan was like, "Are you okay?" And then tears I just, or anger. What? Tears or anger. Both. Oh wow, yeah. that that bad of yeah, a burn. It, well, it was. It just was surprising. Yeah. It took me by surprise. I was sure, like, "Holy shit! You. I just fucking burned my nipple." Yeah, <laughs> it's sort of like and when you accidentally. Because here's the thing: curling iron. This happens to girls all the time. Okay, right? Yeah. They burn their ears. Like I've never burned my my nipple with a curling iron. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, once and with all the curls that you have, I know. You always get a perm. You need to be doing that. I, know. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I got a little bit of the night king going. I right. like it. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, um, but in all these years of technology, we haven't perfected the art of like the just the inside of a yes. curling iron being hot, it's barbaric. and the outside of it st- just being some cool piece of I don't know government grade plastic or something. Well, here yeah. we are, two assholes trying to come up with quiz shows. We just figure out what we need, what we need to do the non burnable nipple <laughs> clamp thing, whatever. Not clamp. That's a totally different thing. Uh, I'm thinking of, of what's his face. Christian Saturday it's, night. Oh, it's true. Old, old Donnie nipple clamps. Over yeah, there. right. My yeah. Saturday night trying to figure out what's what's coming on the the Netflix next. That we're gonna shut off. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, what are we watch? What are you night? watching in there? Uh, it's a documentary about a basketball player from the Dominican Republic. Okay, I'll stay in here. That's, St- stay just, in here. Yeah, right. That's a, that was me. Oh, that's you. you. No, that's my wife being like that. When I'm watching something in the other room, last night she goes, she just, stand, she just stands in the corner until it's over. Yes, <laughs> totally. <laughs> she's on her phone. She's like, Is this done yet? And I'm right. like, Okay. Right. She, last night she was watching something in the living room and I was getting ready. I was going out with, for drinks with a buddy and she, I closed the door to the bedroom, took a shower because I was watching something else in there. And she opens the door and she goes, Stop treating this like I'm your roommate. <laughs> I was like, What do you mean? I go, she's like, don't close this door. Don't shut me out. And I was like, okay, I think we're overreacting here. No, nobody's overreacting. Well, yeah, you, you, you never overreacting. No, I'm already yeah. married. I might as well just sign the yeah. papers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really, mm-hmm. The marriage doesn't really change. I mean, that type of shit, yeah, that always goes on. But marriage doesn't really change until you have kids. Yeah. I mean, it really oh, doesn't. Yeah. It's, I still think it changed. I've changed a lot because I've been married for a long time. Of course. Like, Your marriage is still hard, yeah, yeah, regardless. Absolutely. But I get it. But once you have kids, it's a whole other Marriage animal. is fucking yeah. real. Because if you wanted, not that you would, but if you wanted to, you could leave tomorrow, and that's it. And I don't the, want to, though. I, that's what I'm saying. You yeah. start with But you could. If you <laughs> Why would. are you telling me? I don't want to. <laughs> There was somebody, a window. Somebody without kids. You can jump out of it, more than likely get injured, but right, they do right, right. Either one of these guys today, if they if it would be painful, but they can get over it. Right, right. Kids? I speak forever. from experience. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> no <laughs> kids? Exactly. It's over. It's, it's over. Clean break. It was done. Clean break. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. And I found Look at it on the I other side. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone. It's rainbows. I'm the poster boy. <laughs> rainbows and puppies. Yeah. I miss, right. talking so about, yeah. I miss talking about Riley's marriage. It's, yeah, oh, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it's a fucking open book, man. What do you want to know? Early days of Schmoes. You brought it up a lot. Yeah. And I was like, this is so It intense. was so good. Go how, how was it? Not so good. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what, what, is, what did your therapist say about it? Uh, oh, oh, that was, that was, that was two before. therapists. Was a real, that, that, <laughs> yeah. You couldn't, My, couldn't even couldn't talk about that it That therapist anymore. couldn't crack the code. Oh, yeah, oh, man. No, that I, was... Yeah. It was it was fine. I don't <laughs> think I didn't know Ken or Mark that well, obviously, before we started Schmoes. Oh, okay? I did. Yeah, but, I know. Yeah. So, the, the, do you remember that scene where uh, we're outside of Old Toad Hop uh, and Riley kicks, kick, kick, punch, kick, punch, kick, 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 punch, right, punch. right? And, and Ken looks at me and goes, "Don't ever get married." <laughs> yeah, 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 it was the truth. Oh, so, that, that was yeah. So that, I don't want to lose people. I, I'll tell, I mean, again, I know I've told this story before, uh, but we'll tell it for those people who are kind of just tuning into it. There, we uh, Schmoes. No live in 2013, 2012 to like 2000, late 2013. Mm-hmm. We had uh, our show on the Toad Hop Network, which I think is the most similar to this show yeah. that we've yeah. ever done. 
And um, it was a lot of fun. It was great with great guests. But we would come. It was in Hollywood, so we would come outside, and we'd go to Buffalo Wild Wings yeah. afterwards, have some drinks, and, yeah. and just kind of talk about the show. And the what cheapest we did. bar in Hollywood, Buffalo Wild Wings. It was, but it was just yep, a great. It was, it was it was where we started to kind of form the relationship totally. between like the crew. And we came out one day, and right in front, we used to the right in front of the building. If you got lucky, if you got there in time, you got like the money mm-hmm. parking spot. So. We would, it was right in the front there. So it wasn't a par- parking spot. Though. Yours was though. My, yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, yeah. So Riley gets the money parking spot. It was like the last one. We get out of the car of the show, and there's a car in back of Riley. Just kind of he really really can't back up. But then there's a car right in front of him. But there's it's not a spot. So Riley's like, what he, the? He's trying. But no, he's, wait, wait, wait. Oh, so right. Riley's like, what the fuck? What's going? What? 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 <laughs> and, and he's and he's already starting to get antsy. And then we, we look in, there's somebody in the car. And there's this guy, and he's just sitting in the car. Like, huh? Drunk. Off his... <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you're bar- you're, 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 right, don't right. don't give it away. You do the story. So he, but he's, but he's, he's sitting in there, and he's looking. <laughs> and, we, and, we're all, and there's like six or seven of us. We're looking in. And we're, it was, it was quite this, the scene. What's this guy doing? And then he starts to kind of pull away, right? Mm-hmm. And Riley's like, hey, don't hit the car. <laughs> don't, don't hit the car. And he goes, huh? And he's clearly shit housed, right? right? And he's just <laughs> moving his head around, but the car's not moving. So he's just, and then he goes and he backs up and he hits Riley's car and goes, "You, you just hit my car!" <laughs> Riley throws a fist, no. to, a Thor fist, in awesome. the back of the guy's trunk, and the guy <laughs> starts to go. He just doesn't move. Damn. Then Riley proceeds to kick the car, <laughs> yeah. he punches it twice, <laughs> then kicks it. The guy goes, oh, oh. "Punch, just punch, kick, kick, kick!" Takes off right through the red light. And right, and we just like right, and for and Dagnino and I looked at each other and went punch, punch, kick, kick. <laughs> and, and so we always say, he was a Tyson wow. punch out right Dumb. there. You turned into oh the anger from the last movie. Oh yeah, the anger was yeah, incredible. Yeah. It was yeah. <laughs> Speaking of how it is getting divorced, well, there's processes that, and that was one of them. Yeah. It was the anger. Time. Oh, yeah. So you oh, decided yeah. to lash out at a vehicle. Instead well, this of a guy person. was a fucking moron. <laughs> I mean, this guy was an imbecile. He, he really was, was. A, and and yeah. he stunk. He was very. He was like, huh? Huh? Yeah. Uh, and then boom, hits my car. And that, <laughs> so he's the first guy today, by the way. That's the theme of the show: is people yeah. who stink. Who stinks. Oh, there you go. Uh, so he's stinks. he's number one. That okay. guy, the dr- I think number one should be my curling iron. And then that's not that a guy. That, well, that, that two. stinks. So yeah. it, it, it is. It's who or what stinks, I guess, today. Sure. And that's one of the things that your stinks. flesh of the nipple burning probably yeah. stunk. Stunk. Yeah. You didn't um, feel so it. it stings right now. It yeah. stings. Yeah. Stings and stinks is differently. Though. No, yes. that's true. Yeah. Okay, but fine. but this guy, I remember people asked me, you know, that was you were going through the shit back mm-hmm. then, and that's why we brought you into the show in the first place because you're, <laughs> you're trying to figure out what the hell to do with yourself. Yeah, that yeah. was rough. I think you needed some distraction. Mm-hmm. I, I absolutely needed distraction, right. and you knew it. I mean, you were there right at the beginning oh, of this thing. Yeah, I saw, I, it, I saw it coming like a freight train. Well, you saw it coming, but yeah. then there, there was, like, we were working on Schmo's No at the time, and you're like, hey, how's that article? You're checking in about something, and I'm like, well, this just happened. You're like, I'm on my way with beer. Right, I'm like, okay. Right, right, yeah. and because he, Back in the day when friend. I could do that. Yeah, yeah, he just went, and he came over immediately because uh-huh. the shit had hit the fan, right. like, right. five minutes earlier. So. Yeah, yeah, I remember all that. It was, it was in the ex who... You know, to be to be fair, I always got along with the ex. Never had a problem with the ex. No, you make her she's sound friendly. like Voldemort. She's friendly. <laughs> you, you, she's friendly. Well, I always talk about her. The, the mom. The, I always talk about the, <laughs> she, she's, when, when you go into the, everything that went down. The, yeah, she stinks. Um, but but I, I still tell, and I'll tell the story again. My favorite story ever is her and her mother, who are there, who are at my friend's my friend's house afterwards. They're way divorced at this point. And I've, I've told the story with Mrs. S, right? So she, did you hear this story? No. So the ex, the ex wife, wife and her mother are at this charades party that we're at. And it's one of my favorite oh, stories ever. I'll tell it, you got to tell it I'll again. I'll tell it three yeah. times. It's the best. Uh, you'll love this story. <laughs> so I'm there and we're all, and we're, and we're set up in teams. When was this? Well, this must have been like three, four years ago. Okay. And we're set up in teams. So my, my, my wife was actually on a different team, but we're, but we're, we're the little, little pockets. And, and you, why was your ex-wife there? Well, she's now. So she met she, the she, ex-wife yeah. met Voldemort. my That's friend, my yeah. friend David and his wife. Yeah. They sat. They all sat together at my wedding. So oh. they became friends. Got it. Mm-hmm. And then they went over. Then they've, they're still friends, and they go over there all the time. So they were there when we went, and they're, and we were in these, like, these pockets of teams mm-hmm. to play against. And I think there was a, a few different teams that were just kind of going at it. It was a charades or something. So they're sitting around, and Stacy. Oop, gave the name. Who cares? So <laughs> Stacy stinks. Anyway. Stacy stinks. And her and her mom, they're 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 having this back and forth. And the mother goes, and it's like seven people on the team. 
Okay, listen, this one is for everybody. Everyone's <laughs> going to get it. So it's like that time. Stacey, you, everyone will get this. Remember <laughs> when we were at the ranch when you were six? <laughs> what was the name of the horse <laughs> and the trainer who gave her the apples? And how many apples did they have? <laughs> and everyone is looking around like, what? <laughs> and, and then she's like, they, no one, of course, gets right. any of this. Right. And then th it's silent. And she's like, I can't believe nobody got that. Right? And, and this one guy so pauses, perfect comedic timing. And this one guy looks, he goes, I got to tell you. That was a pretty rotten clue for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed so loud. I was crying. I called him and I started, and, and we just went back and forth and that thing like, oh, everyone's, everyone's going to understand it. it was, you remember that one what time? What was it? It, it, it? No one knows. <laughs> and, it was like, and it was like, but he's like, Not he kept that. going on. I'm like, sure. hey, everyone's going to get Jeez. this one. Remember that one time I was by myself <laughs> and I had those thoughts. <laughs> they were impure. <laughs> Who are they about? <laughs> and what was the dog's name sitting next to me? Randall? Who the fuck is Randall? <laughs> <laughs> but, but the word rotten is so, it's so great. It's so great. It used, it, but it's pretty it, rotten. it was a pretty rotten clue for the rest of us. It was, it was, it was so oh. good. So she stinks at that game. So she, she stinks at that game. She was really rotten. Yeah. Um, but you know, going back to to that whole relationship, it was it was it was a uh, it was a mess, and we knew it was a mess. And yeah, it, but it, she, it didn't start well. No, it, it we didn't was, end well. We How young were you when you met her? What was it like College. in the middle? Yeah. No, 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 yeah. I did meet her in college, and then oh, okay. uh, we started dating around. Th I was thirty, okay. thirty ish. Yeah, thirty. Yeah. Yeah. That's hard, man. Because I I know successful relationships from people that do get married young, mm -hmm. but that's I mean people change so much in their twenties to their thirties. Oh, easily. I'm like, so. I'm gonna you... tell you something. I thought about this too. Hmm. We all landed here in this thing at the right time. Yeah. Because if we would have been late twenties in our thirties, nope. even dumber. But even dumber. Mm -hmm. But going to those parties that you had. Mm. There is some shit going down. Oh, I'm yeah. telling you that right now. We, oh, oh, no, thank you. Yeah. Um, because there, <laughs> it, it, I'm telling you, there was it was crazy. But the, your the ex, the one thing I wanted to bring up was one. <laughs> how much he stinks. Well, I'll let him tell that. But we, we, we were we were doing we were doing uh, schmoes. Is when we were starting, and I would send out all the emails because. Oh we were, yeah. So she comes up to him. She's like, what, what, what did she say? What was, what was the first thing? She's like, why the hell did they keep sending these things? It's like, I don't need to see this. Like, like, no one, they're, they're like spamming me. Right. And I'm and like. She, she goes, no, they're not going to succeed with this. Yeah. That's what she said. It's like, what, what are they doing? They're not going to, like, something like that. And Fast forward like, a year later, though, and the podcast starts to go. And she's like, ask him if we can come on and promote the movie. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then you hear the episode with the, with the two of them. And it was like the, the beginning of the end of that episode. That was like, oh, that was like, it was it's like we made a movie together and that just exacerbated everything. Yeah. And then it just got even worse because of certain things. Did, and then did you get Cal with her? She, yeah, she actually gave me Cal. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. So the only good thing in your life the only, her Yeah, and that was like <laughs> right when we were dating. Yeah. She she knew I wanted a, a dog and especially a yellow lab, and she she did. And I yeah. give her all the credit in the world, and oh, I did man. speak with yeah. her when he passed. Nah, okay, that's good. And we, you know, we're, we're friends. Do you still want to talk about this? I have doesn't more questions. She's <laughs> <don't> have, <laughs> you can talk. I don't okay. care. I, I love how Thursdays mor Thursday mornings becomes a Riley therapy, therapy session. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's great. Can we just psychoanalyze you for the two hours? This amazing drawing of Cal. Yeah, from I a, did. From yeah, Paul Duncan. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. That's I'm gonna nice. I'm gonna tweet out a picture in, uh, after the show. It's so good. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really good. Amazing. I'm framing that thing and right. it's going in the in the living yeah, room. I can't even draw a stick figure, so I'm very <laughs> impressed. No, yeah. I can't do yeah. anything. My, uh, yeah. I remember one time I drew in eighth grade. I thought that it was the best drawing ever. I still I well, still know mine. It was just this picture, this cartoon character. And my friend Victor, he looks at me and he goes, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> he goes, "That looks like Fart Blossom." And he called it Fart Blossom, and I thought that. Of course, because anytime you mention farts or anything, yeah, you crying, it. laughing, because because here's my here's my master art, and and I and I remember the teacher saying to me, Mr. Harloff, what are you laughing at now? You're disrupting my class, and I go, fart blossom. I'm gonna get sent in the hallway. Sleep in the hallway. Yeah. I have a I have a lot. I mean, yesterday we we went kind of in depth on a lot of like what was like almost like a one on one tour. Yeah. I guess we're gonna do that with Roxy when she's back. Um, and do a just kind of a are full you bringing episode, back but, the show with you? No. Um, it, it was it, it, it's a long story but it's just going to be Claire Live and Jedi Council those are my responsibilities I'm going to stick to those um, but we, uh, we will be doing um, a version of that 
to where Roxy's going to come in. We'll do like a full episode where she, she's got a lot of questions. And, and so I know people have been wanting to hear it. And people like the stories yesterday. So yeah. we'll we'll do that. But this is Riley's one-on-one today. Um, <laughs> oh, I like it. Well, so what let me ask. Wait, yeah, real quick. Ahead. Okay, so you get all these cow drawings, paintings, blankets, everything. Do you mm. think that uh, Leia gets jealous? Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I don't know yet. She uh, seems like she doesn't give a fuck. Oh, she, Leia, Leia, Leia right now. doesn't give a fuck. No, right. yeah, she just. And, but she did. Like, she probably thinks like it's like her. Yeah, girls. but I will say, I, I, I pulled the painting that Paul did for me, and I put it up next to the wall where right. I want to hang it and to see how big. And and she like ran up the couch and just looked at it, and I was like, "That's your brother. That's your right. brother." And she went like this, and it was just the fucking cutest thing I've ever Aww. seen in my yeah. life. Because sometimes I'll go, that's your. Does your she know she's not blood related? Uh, no, you know, we haven't told her. We haven't yet. told her yet. Yeah, just, that's fair. Um, she's adopted. We don't want to tell her that yet. Yeah, so not until she's 13. What a twist. I mean, what a twist did indeed. Cal know that his, his purchaser stunk? <laughs> I don't yeah, know. How did they get along? I mean, they. they Tolerated like, each I, other? Yeah, I can't remember, really. Did I he mean, give a his, shit about her? Yeah, he yeah. he did. He loved her to death. Did he? Okay. Yeah. That's good. I mean, there was there was but a Cal time. Went through, Cal, people don't talk about this enough. Yeah. Cal went through some shit. Cal had a rough abuse. Go. Not, not not with these guys, but the, the dogs that they lived with, right? Yeah. This little shit dog Pio. The, yes. And and this and this rotten uh, pit bull. Yeah. Uh, well, there was there were waves. The. At he the comes ha- in house as a, on yeah, uh, three of them. No, no, no. This is when this is where when, when I lived with, with oh, my ex. Yeah. When I got him as a puppy, the first thing that happened when he walked through the door was the little dog bit him in the face. Oh, right. Shit. It was the it was like, first thing that happened. It was basically letting him know this ain't fucking. This, yeah. This, 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 this yeah. is you're in some shit here, but you're not in Kansas and, anymore. And that set the precedent. Was that a small dog? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so they small small do that. Dog, yeah. They did my mom's dog. Yeah. Small and dogs are idiots. He had he had a scar on his on his nose for the rest of his life from that bite because he wasn't like. Because he would get after this whole scenario with these dogs, that's when he used to be be on his heels looking for some shit because right. he went through this. He'd have to fight, the, fed up the little dogs. Then he would have to, then he would protect the little dog from from the pit bull, right? Yeah. Then the pit bull comes in and was a rescue and had issues, big, right. big oh, issues. It was just a screw loose that Aww. we couldn't figure out. But yeah. thankfully, I got her a, a, a new owner and right. everything. Right. Because uh, she almost killed my roommate's dog. She jumped on my yeah. pregnant wife with Vivi. Yeah, and it scared the hell out of she us. She was not a good dog, and she would attack Cal as well, but not in a attack. Yeah. Try to, but just yeah. ah, and then the little one. Ah, ah. So Cal was in the middle, constantly being like, "Okay, all right, uh, okay." Right. And so then taking the abuse. Just from Cal the was in like an Everclear just, video in the nineties, yeah, like Cinderella over the two over steps. Again. Yeah. <laughs> so when everything ends finally, and I finally get him, just me and Cal, he went. No more fucking dogs. Yeah. Like yeah. he just just settled with me that it was now forever. If another dog yeah. comes near me, yeah. he was looking for some shit. You he put would him be, through enough. So yeah. I had yeah. this dog. This dog Sunny, right? And the dog was and <laughs> a little <laughs> fluffy piece of shit. And yeah. It was. It was. It was. It's it, probably so. That cute. dog didn't stuff. last very long. Well, it lives with my sister in law. Oh, that's right. Harmless, that's right. Yeah. Harmless. This dog is <laughs> harmless. Um, and uh, and so Riley's like, hey, you know, I asked Riley Did, if he could watch my dog for the weekend. Right. And Riley's like, yeah, absolutely. Let's let's have her, have her come by and she meet Cal and then watch for the weekend. I say, all right, this is the dog. Cal bites her face. I go, I guess that's not going to work out. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, like, Cal just like, <laughs> yes. Just, that's what he would do. Dude, yeah. We went to Palm Springs. And uh, DJ comes in. Oh yeah. And Eric with with yeah, his my dog. friends DJ and Eric. Yeah, sounds like a band. But, and yeah. uh, it's me and Tom really kind of and, and not DJ and Eric, and, DJ and Eric. Yeah. 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 And we're sitting there, and then all of a sudden, Cal's running around, and we're having fun, and we're having drinks. All of a sudden, a dog runs in, and I go, "Oh, whose dog is that?" Because nobody knew that he was coming. It was Eric's dog. Well, this is Dagnino's fault, right? Because Dagnino, Dagnino didn't, didn't say anything. Right. Said, "Hey, can I bring the dog?" And he's like, "Yeah." Don't don't worry about it. Didn't tell any of us. So Cal's running around and this dog runs in and Cal, the dog runs down the hallway to figure out what's going on and Cal follows and I go, shit, Cal, Cal, Cal. And I hear just, and blood everywhere oh, and they Jesus. left 10 minutes later. And I was like, shit. Oh my Damn. God. Yeah. He bit the ear. Ouch. Oh. Yeah. 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 Just to put him in his place. Not once, not once did I ever see that, that Cal ever towards humans. He was the no. sweetest. Oh, but, God, just, no. but because of that, I'm telling you, it's because when you stuck that dog in that relationship with that little shit and that 
kind of monster. Off, it just, it's like it's like if someone she, and I loved her. It, to it was death, almost like but... if someone smashed her in the head with yeah. a with a bat, and the brain just completely. Yeah, yeah, she just yeah. She, she just was, was, was wired weird. And yeah, she, she was a moron. A, that's also mm-hmm. too. And I know this is. I mean, Peta, whatever you want to come after me, but there are dogs that should be put down. Like there's there's they're not. We can't train. No, you can't train the dog away right. from being vicious. Well, it's very hard. You're saying to wild do. some wild animals. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I, I don't know about put down, I which is certainly, I, I, certainly yeah. not. Here's not, what happened. They shouldn't be domesticated. Correct. And I disagree with that 100% yes, because same. of what I found out. Because when this went down, when my pit bull rescue ate my roommate's dog, mm-hmm. I was, I like literally like attacked it. And it was, you know, my roommate went, it's time. And I went, okay. So I went back to the person that I rescued. And the answer I got was, you're probably going to have to put it down. And I went, absolutely not. Right. I don't want to do that. So I looked everywhere and I found a guy. In like South Central it's like LA, a pit bull rescuer, right? He was. He had this. I mean, uh, huge, whisper, whisper. Yeah, he's like a dog whisperer. He had this huge piece of land in the middle of nowhere where he would rehabilitate dogs. Yeah. And he yeah. would put them together. Yeah. And I had to pay him to take the dog. Right. Yeah. And that dog, and then I would get little video updates that he would put them in with other right. dogs, and he just knew what to do. And a year later. Um, a veteran adopted yeah. her because See, she was rehabilitated. Yeah, no, it's, See, you, can, you can totally do that. Yeah, and, and that's, that's the what thing, worried like my, I, I like, just couldn't been, do it. There's been uh, abused animals that get adopted yeah. and then they're trained in, or not even trained, but they go through like the process of, okay, You've seen some shit, right. <laughs> so right. so let's so let's make you trust human or help you trust humans again. But that's so, so few you, and far between. But it Do does you know happen. What I'm it does happen. But it, let's just yeah. say you rescue Pina. Oh, he's fine, and then he attacks your kid. Right. Then right. you right. gotta put the dog down. Well, but uh, why though? Why? Because just, like, it attacked a kid. So one time. Done. And, yeah, Goodbye. but that, that doesn't mean it's just always gonna attack kids. It's not. That's just a circumstance. It's, it's, cir- it's circumstantial. I think it, it's, it's also circumstantial, think, but it's also but it's also a thing. Like I. And it's there are many. You have to know the kind of dog that you get. Also, you should know like there, like you said, the dog whisperer. And you, you should. It's it's when you go to adopt a pit bull, mm. you should learn. And because pit bulls, I think, get a bad rap also because people, oh, yeah. everyone yeah, everyone thinks pit bulls are just going to attack everything. But it's that's not, it's not, not true. There are a lot of there are a lot of great pit bulls. Mm-hmm. It's just because you hear pit bull and you go, uh oh, yeah. yeah. But you also have to know like, the same way you would get a German Shepherd, the same way you would get these certain dogs. You have to know that that's your type of fit, and that you can you can train those dogs because there's some people who just get dogs and train them. I just want this dog, and they train them terribly. Yeah, and they oh, don't yeah. train them. And when you don't train them, you can really it, it can go off into a place that it's it's not fair for the dog because right. you like you have to train <clears throat> these dogs. Like, there's this woman like recently, I don't know, it's probably like six months ago. This wasn't a pit bull. I don't know what the hell it was. It was a mix, and the woman walked around the neighborhood. Neighborhood with the dog off the leash. No, uh, no. And it's like, and and so what happens? I'm um, and I've seen and I see her. It's, and it wasn't. It, it definitely wasn't a pit bull, but it was one of those kind of muscly like dogs. It looked like if you piss it off, it'll rip your face off, mm-hmm. right? But cool. but people think, but people think just because well, it's never done anything like that before. They're they're fucking animals, yeah. right. right? So. She's wa- and, and in, a, in a residential neighborhood, just walking around with this dog off the leash. And one night, I hear, and I'm like, what in the fuck was that? And I walk outside, and I hear, get your dog off my dog. Yep. Get your dog off my dog. <laughs> Screaming. And my, my other neighbor, who I know really well, he's got a very peaceful dog. Dog that wouldn't hurt a fly. Older dog, too. And the, the, whatever the dog was, it's, it's, its jaws are wrapped around it, and finally pulls it off. Blood everywhere. Oof. They have to go inside. These the neighbors come out. And she goes, "My dog never does this. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I can't believe it." Screaming, and people are screaming at her, "Why isn't it on a leash? Why is it?" Then guy takes her to court. She's like, "That never happened. It didn't happen that way." It was, and it's like. It, it, it's, oh, it's just people man. not taking I responsibility not for like it. Yeah. people, and I've seen people like that with yeah. their dogs she off the stinks. leash. She but stinks. It, yeah, that's, that's, that's a stinky her fault. Person. That's not the she dog's stinks. fault. That's her fault. No, it, that's, yes. that's my point. Yeah. Is it's it's it really it it goes back to the owner, and it's the same thing that like what Mr. Miyagi says. No, no such thing as as bad uh, bad student, just bad teacher. Right. Bad no, teacher. No such yep. thing as bad dog, just bad owner. Yep. Yeah. Like, Plus, get, I, I'm always going to trust animals more than people. A lot of the times, yeah. yeah. I, I, and you can tell. I've, I mean, now I've had enough dogs, and, and especially that pit bull that I had, I, I could tell. Like, I would just be – because there was a time where I took her and had to live by myself while I was moving to houses, right. and it was just me and the pit bull. And there were days where I'm like, 
you're going to eat my face, aren't that's, you? That's like, I could feel it, and I'm like, and now, and then with Cal, it was so different. Right. Like, I there's could just tell. There's yeah, a connection. But, and I can tell with Leia now, I'm like, she is the sweetest soul. You she, know, she just, never, she I just, just interrupts your yoga, and that's she it. Just, yeah, yeah, just but interrupts my that's my point, though, is that you had, you had a love for that pit bull. But, I did. But you weren't the one to be able to train her. And you it weren't the beyond. one to be able to. No. You weren't the to one. show her love, basically. We like, got. Like, yeah. but, he yeah. showed, but he did show her love. But, yeah. but, yeah, but, but there's a difference between showing love and being like this dog whisperer who was able right. to control her. Oh, and, and we got a an expensive trainer came yeah. in. This guy was like, I can do it. And he was doing things with like, you know, and like Jesus. grabbing it like a rolled up newspaper. And went, like is this, this the guy that, that whispered her? This no, is, this, no is this is before. This is pre-whisperer. And I'm like, okay, this guy is doing it. And then this dog like literally looks at this trainer and goes, you're not going to fucking train me. And he was like using this magazine and she just starts shredding it. And I'm like, it's getting worse, dude. And he's like, no, 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 she'll calm down. And like she got so riled up. He just finally stepped back and went, all right, we're going to have to do something different now. And I'm like, and he okay. He out the he, window and Yeah, he, it, it just wasn't in her right. cards. I, at least at that point. The, the guy, that the dog whisperer that got her, figured it out. I just, I just, I just pictured the, I just pictured the uh, comment section for this one. It's like, when are they going to talk about people who stink? <laughs> <laughs> I would say here, right now. Right. This is nothing as to much do with the as title. I, the trainer stunk. Yeah. The, the yeah. trainer stunk. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. as much as I love that dog, that dog stunk. The dog stunk. Yeah. The, the dog stunk. The dog stunk. <laughs> Yeah, God it was, bless it was, her. I, I didn't Do like. You, I didn't like come over to your place because of that dog. The, the little, not little, a lot of people. Are, little, are you guys gonna get dogs? You and Josh. I mean, I would like a dog eventually. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd probably have a kid before I had a dog um, because I don't want. Because listen, I, my little nephew got bit by one of Amanda's friends that we're no longer really friends with, and because I, of that. No, because of what? Because of what happened. No, I just don't think kids should be around little do- dogs. I think especially I, bigger dogs. I guess kids just don't them. know. Right. Well, right. that's a good and again, if the dog is trained and awesome, but this was a rescue dog they'd had for a while. Right. The dog wasn't very good. It bit my nephew on the arm. I drug the dog out and I said, "I want this dog. I want a pound called right now." It, it like blew dr- or drew blood on a three year old's arm. Yeah. Yeah. I said, "This Jesus. fucking dog is done." Well, so here's so my my father in law has uh, has always had Akitas. Right, yeah. and they're they're awesome dogs. Right, they're really cool. So he's got the, the dog that he's got now is a uh, Diesel. Is the dog? It's a very sweet dog. Very, mm-hmm. I mean, because Adi- Adidas, Akitas can be um, Adidas uh, shell tops. Great. Yeah. Akitas can, can be Nike. territorial, yeah. vicious. Not yes. vicious. Not vicious, but like aggressive. Right. I've heard that they're the number one dog bite. Maybe so, but like something he, like but that. They're like mountain dogs. Hence my he my father in law lives in Wyoming. So, yeah. so he's got the so he's got this dog. But and the dog was very is very. Peaceful and and, because he had one beforehand, and that dog was a little bit more like looking around, like who wants some shit, Mm -hmm. but like never, never to us. The family, they're like they're pack dogs, Mm -hmm. right? So they they protect the pack, and there's never really a threat as far as inside of the house. But Diesel doesn't really didn't when we brought the baby home, didn't like know what the hell it was. And I'm like, I don't know. My father's like, nah, it's fine. It's fine. I feel the same way around babies. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I don't know. And it came to me like nipped her foot, but like. Bit at her sock, and my wife's like, uh, "How about we get the dog out, out on the balcony?" Right, because he doesn't understand. And she she loves the dog. Sure, my, my wife loves. Listen, the dog. I'm not. T- I love dogs. No, no, no. I know you do. I know. Yeah. I'm just I'm just saying though. There's it's just there's <laughs> certain dogs that don't understand, and and I don't believe that Diesel would e- even it would would hurt the baby on purpose. I think that didn't understand what it was. It's still a young dog, two or three years old. Um, yeah, it's not like a bear that's like defending This dog looks like a damn bear, though, I'll tell you that. But yeah, but, that but my pug, Shoot. if I had a pug, you know, still, I, I wish my my kids could have met my my pug. Yeah, yeah. Because he's a little, he was like a little funny gremlin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, like pugs and smush faces, like bulldogs, yeah. they grew up with I the shih tzu. So they're not like vicious them. dogs at all. Because they they're they genetic breathe. messes. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. what, there was one at the office that used to just sit like through the glass window, yeah. to the glass door, <gasps> and, and just stare yeah. at everyone, and it looked like he was listening to Adele. Like he was so <laughs> depressed. <laughs> <laughs> he was so sad. Uh, I could do the perfect, the two impressions that I'm pretty happy with, or three, was the Gary Busey, <laughs> Arnold and my pug. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're the most accurate. Like my pug. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's what he would do. And he would jump at the mail. <laughs> do that again. <laughs> you got to close your eyes. So you really picture it. <laughs> Have you ever done voice acting for like cartoon, no, for no, animated like, stuff? That would be good. I'd like to. You would do it. You want to hook me up? You like that one, Makush? <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> you 
introduce you, you and Roger Craig Smith to share stories because you know, we grew up together, right? And he had a pug. The best. And when we would have the sleepovers, this pug would be <laughs> doing yeah. that, but then we'd fall asleep. I can't handle that. Well, that was that I could was never was have a some, pug. When my, no, when my wife and I no. first started dating, like the dog would, the dog slept with me in my bed for a while, right? So, um, and that quickly changed after the wife and I started dating. How did you oh, yeah. sleep because they, oh, they snore? I can sleep through anything. My okay. wife is like a Vietnam War vet. She wakes right. up the you know, second someone walks into a room. Uh, but like she, but, <laughs> right, what's that? Huh? <laughs> and, but, so the dog, uh, the dog walks in, and, uh, the dog walks in, the dog's sleeping, and my wife is, is sleeping too, and she's, and the first night, this is one of the first nights she ever slept over, and she woke up. She's like, what the hell is that? She hears, <laughs> And she's like, she puts, it, she puts her head to me. She's like, it's not, is that the dog? <laughs> mm-hmm. And the dog was just, he yeah. was like a, the, the biggest snore you'd ever, you'd ever hear. And, and then eventually he starts sleeping on this little bed. <laughs> well, our dog, I grew up with the Shih Tzu, right? And so Shih Tzus have like the, the smush face. And, and she the unfortunate name of being a Shih Tzu. Yeah, correct. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and she had one closed nostril. So every, oh. like, every like minute and a half, you'd just hear like, <laughs> Right. Because she was sneezing out to try and like get right. it was like a cleft palate, right? right? So my mom, yeah. Right. So my mom, my mom goes so to the gross. vet. She goes to the vet. And she goes, uh, wh- how much is like a surgery to have her nostril open? And the doctor's like, um, it'll probably be about three thousand bucks. My dad's like, no, nope, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. You can live with the thing. And the dog also slept on its back, like totally uh, open, oh, yeah. and her little mouth would open, and she was going. <laughs> like it was a human snore. Oh, yeah. nope. And my dad would, would blame the dog for his snoring because he's like, oh, it's the dog. It's my, the dog. My mom would stay up and wait for him to start snoring. It's not the dog. Yeah, yeah. They it's, just both snored it's, together. It's the truth. Like, wait, the funniest thing that my Taz, the pug, ever did. Taz? Was that Taz. his name? Like from Tasmanian Devil? Well, it was actually based on the, the, that's what everyone used to say. Oh, and, and it fit his personality because he was. <laughs> it's exactly yeah. right. And that <laughs> just happened to fit, but I named him after the wrestler. Taz. <laughs> um, uh, because Taz had just debuted in the WWE, and I was like, "That's a pretty great name for a dog." Also, so yeah. I named him Taz, and it just it just fit. But my ex girlfriend and I we were living at this place, uh, the old Blackburn. Oh, place, yeah. right? so that's where we found that place together. Um, and so, she, so the dog. Anytime I got out of the bath, the shower, too, it just went. You know, they go bananas. They sure. just, oh yeah. So he gets out of the sh- he gets out of the bath where we dry him off. He's running around the place, and we're having a conversation about something. And he jumps up on the on the, the futon that we had, and we're not paying attention to it, just ignoring it, talking. It. And finally, it goes. <laughs> and we look and we just like the, the dog is screaming yeah. it was like that man it was it was so it was the we started crying oh, laughing man. because he screamed and he never did that ever again <laughs> but he screamed at us and it was that is a dog that you deserve I, that dog <laughs> was the perfect that was, I never really had a real I mean like Sonny was just kind of like sitting there, stay there until my sister-in-law took it but like the Taz I haven't had a dog since Taz passed and it was like he was he was the. Did you, ever, you never met Taz. Uh-huh. Taz was yeah, I met Taz. Taz. Before, yeah, Taz. Yeah. I one of my fa- that, that's one of my favorite Seinfelds is when the dog gets the cough. Oh, and then right. Kramer goes to the vet <laughs> yeah. and gets the dog's medication, and it it it's such a like a, a small thing of I don't know how they did it, but they made the dog look like it was coughing normally. Yeah. It was because it was like. Yeah. Right, and it had the human cough. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, exactly. So I go. I was dating this girl a little while back, and she had a like Sharpay. You know, like the Sharpay is like and the, the mushy, mushy face. Yeah, yeah. Like the mushy yeah, yeah, yeah. face, and it was mixed with something else. So it had, like a mushy face and a longer body, and the dog would would like kind of lay over and just go like. <clears throat> And do like, it was like clearing its throat, like it was about to so make a hard. speech. Yeah. It was so weird. so weird. I was like, did the dog just like? It wasn't. And it wasn't a dog going like. It was just like. <clears throat> it was. It That's was awesome. so making words. I had, I had a, the one cat I had growing up. I named him Figaro because Pinocchio. Mm-hmm. Um, it, lo- he, it sort of lost his voice when it got older. And so it couldn't meow anymore. Oh, and so no. the only time, the only thing we would ever hear when he was like twelve or thirteen, it was just like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was yeah. so sad. Yeah. Some creepy That's cat. Yes. Cool. Just, <laughs> it was like a demon cat. Yeah. I was pretty happy Makes with that. Makes sense for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Makes a lot of All sense. All cats are demon cats. I know. But yeah. I do. I, I do think mm-hmm. I'm either gonna get. Mm-hmm. I'm either because my dad just gets goldens. Yeah, his goldens, goldens, goldens. So he, he gets he's going to get another one recently. Um, I'm either gonna get a golden. The only problem, both the golden They're and the so pugs. They're so needy. I'm all right with that. Gold, okay. Goldens and pugs. Like golden I like dogs that yeah, are like. Retriever. I like dogs that are They're, like cats, and they just well, leave me alone. Pugs. That's see, a pugs lot of hair. Don't, 
It's a lot. Yeah, of I hair. know. I know. Pugs are the reason I got the dog in the first place. Well, first of all, I remember this, and I think I've I think I've told the story before. But I was I was dry, I was in Los Angeles. I was done with it. I wanted to move back to New York because I hated it mm-hmm. when I first got here, and I didn't I didn't. It, there's nothing I liked about it. So I, I'm driving one day, and I go, "Fuck this! I'm getting a dog." I'm either going to New York or I'm getting a dog. I'm getting a dog. And I wanted to get an English bulldog. Oh, yeah. So I <coughs> drove, yeah. Uh, you talk about genetic messes. Yeah. Those things are just slop balls. They don't have snouts. They don't have snouts. Where do they put their tongue? You ever they watched can't... college yeah, game day more, they have like nine different fans on the Georgia bulldog because yeah. the dog can't hang yeah. outside no, like 60 no, degree they, weather? They yeah, my my <laughs> neighbors have one. And it's just it's just a big sloppy, stinky pile yeah. of slop. But they're, they're awesome. They're yeah, aliens. They're awesome. Gorgeous dog. You know who's a cool dog, Christian? The dog in the thing. Mm-hmm. Sure. There's a dog in the thing? Exactly. Yes, yes, there there is. Is. It's a badass fucking dog. Cool. I've seen it. I just was like, eh. No. But, so I drove, but I drove to the Beverly Center, yeah. which at the time had, you know, oh, the, had the a pet, pet store. store. It had a pet store. Oh, that's right. Uh, I remember and going so in that I, pet so store, I felt so too. bad for those pets. I know, but that's, well, yeah, and, and so those. so I go, and I would go, because I, I had played with a couple dogs there yeah. a couple times. I'm like, you know what, but this time I'm going to get one. And I went, and I'm looking for the English Bulldogs. I don't have any English Bulldogs. I'm like, hmm. I mean, no English bulldogs. Do they have anything close? <laughs> like you're at a clothing store. It's kind of what it was. I was like, do they have anything close? They don't have I was like, jeans. But I guess I'll get chinos. It's kind of what it was. Yeah, this poodle then, didn't fit. You so know, there's I'm the pug. This. There's the pug, two and a half months old, right? Just flopping around. And yeah. I go, all right, let me let me play with this thing because yeah. it's it's kind of a version sure. of a bulldog. Totally. I had this stupid hoop earring at the time. No. Right? This is Do you like, have photos? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Sweet. It's, 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 you got to see Way to bury the F and leave. Oh, you know, oh my God. It stinks. That hoop earring. <laughs> that, that hoop earring stinks. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Harrison Ford got it or something? Some, yeah. God, Doreen. I'm just, <laughs> just going to say that. It was Florida. It was because oh. I was living in Florida. I was living in Florida. 90s. And, and it, 90s, it worked. Oh, and, yeah. When you go to Florida, you need a hoop But then I came back in here and I... What, did you get like frost nibs and all that stuff? No. Someone asked me that yesterday. I didn't. But... uh. Uh, Ellis had really ridiculous hair when I met him. <laughs> but, and I was kind of, people had told me, this is LA, you got to get rid of that stupid thing. I'm like, I had it for so long. And in college, it always did. It, Got, believe it or not, compliments it did happen a lot in college. You not, look not so here. judgy right now. As you should be. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, I you've can done tell some you. shit. I, you know mine. I know. Yeah. So, but but so I, I had this dumb thing in there, right? And I was going to. Yeah, me too. You had you had one. No, of those it just hurts. Oh, right now. What? <laughs> I did not know that. I had yeah. my nipple pierced. Right, we'll get we'll get yeah. back. We'll get that'll, there. Be that'll be the Sorry, that's the next story. So I had this stupid thing in there, and people have been telling me, you know, eh, maybe you know it's, you've outgrown it. And I'm like, I don't know. So I take, <laughs> so I take the, everybody, everybody. So I take the pug, and I look at the pug. The first thing the pug does is he bites the earring out of my ear and spits it on the floor. Yep. And I was like, all right, uh, so far I like you. Um, so then, so then we we go in, we go into this little play area that lets you play with the dog, and he's flopping around. He's just got this face, and I was just like. This is the coolest little thing I've ever seen, <laughs> yeah. and I just go, I want him. And I took him, and that was and that was it. And I and I got him, and uh, he was, he w- because they tell you that what pugs are going to do is they're just going to sleep. Yeah. And I was like, that's perfect because I need an apartment. Because they can't breathe. Well, I need so an apartment. Yeah, do. I need an apartment dog. Totally. Yeah. This dog didn't sleep for shit. <laughs> he was a freaking maniac. He would jump back and forth from couch to couch. This and is I what used to, doing. I used yeah. to tell this joke about him. Like he was before I got his nuts removed, he had like he, he was ripped like Holyfield. <laughs> and, I, and then I said then I got him snipped and at the time, remember how big Anna Nicole Smith got yeah, it? It was yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And 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 he and that was kind of <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of that was that was that was kind of the the bit. At, was because Taz is like, you want to go pick up some chips? <laughs> I showed you a picture. I showed. You, I, I had that picture that, that Alex uh, just had got me, and you see this picture with with Taz with the hot blonde, and like he Taz was was my best wingman that I've ever had yeah, on this course. day. Yeah, of um, yeah. But then you know, then he would, then the, the the grapes came off, and he was just like, "What the fuck you want me to do?" And I said, and I I used to say again on stage, I'm like, I get it. You cut my grapes off. I'm just fucking watching cable. I'm yeah. not moving. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, I'm I'm done. It's yeah. like the high school jock. Yeah, I'm like done. later on at the reunion. That's what like, he was. Hey, right. Man, how's it going? Yeah, yeah. He, he, uh, I'm he's, doing okay. They chop my nuts off. And I'm so <laughs> he's. Uh, there's, there's a movie that we saw recently. That reminds me of a ca- he would be a character in that. Okay, you know you kind of know sure, where I'm going. I know where yeah, you're yeah, going. Right. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But anyway, so let's go back to your uh, nipple piercing. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, anytime what? somebody says the hell, their Josh? nipple hurts, yeah. I'm like, you let me no tell idea. you. That I know a guy. Is that the most painful? Thing? I know a guy oh, that pierced his cock. Yeah. 
I know a guy that did that. Prince the, Albert. Yeah. Good. Where Lord, though? Where? Yeah. It, I, it's I like didn't look this. at it, but I think it's, it's like right the, in the head. God no. no! I think it's in the head, really? isn't it? <laughs> no, like the prince, the prince <laughs> album is at right. the base of the. And then that's then that's what it is. I didn't I, I I didn't look at his. So it's I didn't just look like the it. skin that's. It just I don't understand. It, yeah, would it's you like, do all it? I know is so remember that. So by the way, and and keep the nipple story because I want to yeah. get you, back to can that. Can you draw us a picture of where? <laughs> I didn't look at it, but but, <laughs> but, but all I remember is the, the way that the conversation came about. Is that it was the same going back to yesterday's stories about that movie theater crew, right? Right. And I talked to my friend yesterday, Frankie. Where he wants to be referred as Barnaby, and he is going to call in. Barnaby, he all right, Barnaby. Bar- because Barnaby from uh, from March of the Wooden Soldiers was the villain in that. He, he, he <laughs> says he liked to be called Barnaby. Um, so Barnaby was oh, had a girlfriend great. at the time, and we were, they were sitting there talking to this guy Brian, who had done the Prince Albert. And the girlfriend of Barnaby goes, "I want to see it," and my friend goes, "Barnaby goes." You want to see his penis, and he's and she's just like, well, I want to see what what that's like, and he and, and Brian's like, can I show your girlfriend my my balls, my balls, and he's like, I guess, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm going in to get a drink. <laughs> well, I would I would want to see that too, because that's just I don't even know where you would do but that. But if you're sitting there, if you're my girlfriend, and I'm sitting, there, and you t- ask to see another guy's penis yeah. in front of me while I'm there, it's, yeah. I'm like. No? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Brendan and I just show each other people all the time. We're like, oh, look at that hot girl. He's okay. like, look at Dorita. that hot guy. That, no, no, that's different. Yeah. That's, that's, looking, totally at, that's looking at looks. That's looking but no, at because he would want to look, too. We'd be like, yeah, show us your pe- your. So first in there, I said, hey, listen, I'm going to okay, show you, you something. You live in a different planet. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> Excuse yeah, me yeah. while I whip this out. Here's a two-hand yeah. penis. What do you, yeah. what do you, what, you your husband's going to say, all right, good good no, job. No, we would both want to see it. Because well, you're in a different again, relationship. Yeah, again, you don't live. But wait, I want to know Josh's nipple story. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm on senior week in high school. Uh, <laughs> of and course you were. Right. We were in Ocean, Ocean City, Maryland. I want to know this decision. Yeah. Oh. No alcohol involved whatsoever. Oh, tons. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> of course. And also some recreational narcotics. Oh. <laughs> and uh, so we... Kind of like not a children's show, by the way. <laughs> <clears throat> Pierced penises and narcotics. I mean, we're in trouble with Universal as of right now, apparently. We uh, are. Yeah. What do we do? Uh, they so the Rebecca M. Ford thing. <gasps> so the Hollywood Reporter, I think, is owned by Universal. Uh oh. Did and you hear? Yeah. No, I haven't heard of this. This, yeah, is, this happened, happened two days ago. This so is Snyder, great. Snyder, wait, wait, wait. What happened? Okay. Yeah. What? Tell me what happened. Sure. So Snyder comes up to me and he says, he's like, "Hey, I just had lunch with the uh, people, some people from Universal. What's up with Collider Live?" Was their, oh, was their question. And I was like, what? And they started telling the Rebecca Ford story, like the Beck M. Ford story. And I said, well, first of all, I thought it was a very funny tweet, and we wanted her to call into the show to yeah. discuss her yeah. experience. Yeah. And I will talk to anybody at Universal. Yeah. But apparently, uh, she was, because, you know, she got the wrath of the Collider Live, the Winnie Goldfish here, yeah, all yeah, that yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. And I think she felt bullied a little bit. Uh-oh. And I was like, dude, if you want to watch the episodes where we talk about Rebecca Ford, and I'll talk about it all the time, I've always wanted her to call in or come yeah. in. Yeah. And talk to us and have some fun with us because I think she would have a good time. I think yeah. yeah, have her call it's in. It's great. Yeah. And then I guess she watched some of the Collider Live because she didn't know what it was or whatever. And she caught the Roxy saying, and Roxy was the only one that was like, like kind of oh, after her. Yeah, 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 yeah. That you're body shaming or something like that, which I totally disagree with. Oh, I really yeah. don't care because you can say why whatever I, you why want. Why am I about hearing me. about this now? I like me. I guess I could like that. Well, you he the wasn't office. here yesterday. You were in the office. Then he didn't. Yeah. So yeah. then what so what did, Good what did what's the last thing? Well and I said, Hey, if you have Rebecca Ford's email or number yeah. or anything, I'd love to give her a call or shoot her an email because I don't want her to think that one we bullied her like internet know, trolled or anything yeah, like that. Legitimately no. thought it was the funniest tweet it's that's happened on the show. Her yes. tweet was the best. Yes. I was, I we all wanted, retweeted it. Yes. Everyone was so excited I want her when to it call happened. In. I yeah. want that tweet on my gravestone. Yes. Like, yeah. Husband, amazing. father, large man. Large large grown man screams like fourteen year old girl at us screen. Like that's what I want. I think it's pretty funny. Yeah. What and so doing? apparently and she got, got real. She, she got butt hurt. She yeah. got upset about it. And uh, the the some of the people in PR at, at Universal or I don't know. I don't know. Snyder can tell you the story better than I can. But yeah. that was basically the basic <laughs> gist of the story, was it not? That that was it. And also he's like, why did Rebecca Ford unfollow me? Yeah, it, it so was like one of those followed Snyder. Snyder. Yeah. Yeah. So well, that could have like been his thing. own fault, though. And he's and he even said he even said, and it's weird because she's been through a lot with me on. Twitter. Yeah. She stuck around with them for a lot. Snyder in the office? Uh, I don't know. Probably I not. I didn't see him. That no, guy's I mean, never, never in. in but I don't know. I don't know. Is he's... Alex here? Hey, Alex. Is Cody here? 
I'm here, well, guys. No I'm, well, I'm trying to see if Jeff's here. Yeah, see uh, if okay. Jeff's here. We'd like to get him on the mic to find out what's going on with this Rebecca Ford story. Yeah, so, uh, you know, it, it, I, it doesn't it, look like he's here. It doesn't. No. Yeah. Big shocker. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I... I because again, I would love to get her on this yeah. show. I think it would be like the full come circle of everything, yeah. whatever. Anyway, so oh, I didn't know that. I didn't yeah, know it was a thing. Yeah, sure. and I don't know, how did we get on that? I have no idea. You yeah. were talking you about universal. your nipple pierce, <laughs> yeah, and then universal. universal. Oh no, no, no! Because we said that uh, this show's not for children. You say universal. Oh, right, us. Okay, right, so go right, back. Right. To, go not back to you. So you're shit housed. Yes. On the Caribbean. So, uh, no, we're in Ocean City, Maryland. Oh, close. If you've ever been to Ocean City, Maryland, it's it's great. And they do like a senior week. And they'll tell high school kids, hey, you can't drink, you can't party. What, uh, he's got what somebody. What the hell is he doing over there? What are you doing? Addicted to yeah. his phone? Yeah. No, sorry. It's a, it's a guest thingy. Okay. Don't worry about it. Oh. It's not a big fucking deal. True. There you go. So, uh, me, I was there. There was 15 of us, eight girls, seven guys. We were staying in this big house. We were all drinking the one night, and it was like the second to last night we were there. And when we got there, everybody was like, we're getting tattoos. And I was like, I'm not getting a tattoo. Is that how you guys used to talk? Yes, at totally. That age? Yeah. I mean, I wore a visor to the side. The whole weekend was just <laughs> total visor. jerk. Yeah. Drinking 99 bananas, chasing You said like extreme a lot. Oh, totally. Wore yeah. no fear t shirt. Right. Oh, yeah. Did you? Yeah. Are you a no fear guy? I mean, up until like the you, seventh grade. Did you wear, it, did you wear it Hardy and all that crap? No, 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 no. What Never was, got what to was that. the other that one? Was what was the other the the the, the MMA shirts that people uh, were wearing? Tap out. We were oh, tap yeah, out yeah, guy. Yeah. Never okay. tap out. Never. And every what about Jesus? To the extreme. Jesus didn't tap. That's my favorite. Jesus didn't tap. <laughs> I, I didn't get, like, I feel like I wore No Fear, like, 7th, 8th, and ninth grade, and then I stopped. And you stopped. And then I never got into, like, the douchebag attire of the of the mid-2000s of, right. like, Ed Hardy, Von Dutch. Right. You know, like, the no, trucker yeah, yeah. hat. We used to call whatever. it Von Douche. Yeah, yeah. yeah. correct. So, and that's where we made the douchebag anthem. I remember. Because it was, was based what, on But that. what happened, though? So you then, so, you then you say to yourself, this sounds buddies, like a good idea? Well, so all my buddies are like, you're getting tattoos. And then... About the second night, everybody's kind of like, I don't think I want to get a tattoo. And then Thursday afternoon, my one buddy said, you know what we should do? Let's all get some pierced tonight. And we were like, yes, <laughs> we can take out a piercing. Right? So <laughs> so there's seven of us. Were you the only one? Shit canned. No, shit okay. canned. And they even say on the outside of these places, on the boardwalk in Ocean City, Maryland, will not pierce intoxicated individuals. Right? right? Well, <laughs> they sure pierce intoxicated right. individuals. <laughs> so... They I have to do that. Two of us, three of us got our nipples pierced. A couple of dudes got their eyebrows pierced. One guy has his ear pierced. And then one of my buddies is a joke got his belly button <laughs> pierced, <laughs> I, which I thought was hysterical. I, th right? I, think, I think the guy who pierced his ear was probably the, did the best. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The I got holes in my ears, but that's about it. Yeah. 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 So I get the nipple pierced, and I and we like Did we it went, hurt? Uh, yeah. From what I can remember, it hurt pretty yeah. bad. Then we went out hard <laughs> all night, because we got it done at about like 11 p.m., 10.30 p.m. So then we partied to like 3 in the morning. I blacked out, woke up, and totally forgot that I had my nipple pierced. Jeez. Totally nice. forgot. How long I does it stick uh, around for? What, the pain? No, no, the actual piercing. How long do you keep something in there for? Well, I'll, I'll tell oh, you how, okay. how it all goes. Right, so right. I get it pierced, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? And you see my Did chest. Did you wake There's up, like, bloody or yeah. something? Or no, it was just it was it was definitely It bruised. was definitely very sensitive. And yeah. I'm pretty sure that they, like, nicked a, like, a nerve in the nipple. That feels because terrible just hearing about it. every time I went mm. like this, there it's was like, a shooting pain. The only thing worse than that is burning your nipple with an iron. Correct. Yeah. And that yep. stinks. Only dummies do that. Stinks. So I get some peroxide and put it on, and my one buddy's like, I think I'm gonna take mine out. I was like, I think I'm gonna leave mine in for a little bit, see what happens, whatever. So I go on the beach, and all the girls are like, Oh, it's kind of cool. And I was like, Oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> all right. Go. So I decide to Giggity. keep it, I decide to keep it in. So <laughs> come home, and my dad, like the thing he said before he left, was like, Don't get any tattoos, but he never said anything about any piercings. So I was like, Whatever. And you've met my father. My dad is very conservative Catholic, especially his 18 year old son, who is, and my, my brother is a saint. But you didn't try, it. you didn't try to hide it? Oh, I did. Oh, okay. So, about two weeks later, I'm up in the bathroom, and I come out of the bathroom, and I already have a T-shirt on with just a towel. My brother's like, what if, do you have a T-shirt on? Like, why? And I go, uh, well, I come in a nipple pierce. And he was like, what? Okay. <laughs> Show me a nipple. So, so I see a nipple. He's like, that's the gayest thing ever. Like, that's just terrible. So, so I was like, I'm going to keep it for a little bit. He's like, just take it out. I was like, nah, I'm going to keep it. So I'm working construction that summer, and it's so hot in Pittsburgh. I, find, I like, take off my shirt. My boss, who's the, like, the general contractor, goes, What's that? Like from way across. I was like, what? And he's like, that silver thing hanging from your nipple. I was like, oh, I got my nipple pierced. He's like, you're fired. Did he really fire? No, he didn't oh, fire okay. me. <laughs> so I totally forgot about it. And like three days later, I'm at home and I'm mowing the lawn. And I had my shirt oh, off. Oh, no. And I'm mowing the lawn. And my dad comes home from work. And he comes, like, walking up. I think he's going to And he just comes walking up. And he looks down. And I was like, oh, shoot. It was it. Gig it is up. It was it. And he just goes. Jig is up. It's a gig. And no, it he right did not. No. no, he ripped it out. No. Nope. How that right feel? Oh. No, he did not. Ah! Oh. No. 
bent nope. it out, like oh, shredded part no. of my nipple. I had to put super glue in there to, to like abuse. close it. Oh yeah, of course it is. <laughs> no. But not an 18 year old. Now it's just not an Italian house. No, no, yeah, no, no. And yeah, yeah, yeah. you never yeah. got anything pierced again, oh, though, no. right? No, yeah. there's yeah, a there's, there's, like you can feel in there like some scar tissue, but no, for the most part, isn't that so weird though that that generation like it just doesn't tolerate any of that stuff, tattoos and piercings, and now nobody gives a fuck. Uh, so I think on in the, on the coast nobody gives there's, a fuck, but there's, in there's, the middle of America, but not like do. before. You forget we're in a bubble. That's yeah. true. We're in a bubble. Totally. In, in I don't think people parents, should care though. My, yeah. my mom called a girl I brought home a tramp because she had a tattoo. Right. So which is so weird. You know, which makes, was fitting. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I was so funny. I was just thinking about that. Something along the lines. I took I I took two, not at the same time, but I took two girls home to New York Ooh, nice. while I was in college, and my mother was just like. These are the girls you're bringing home to me. <laughs> like, I was expecting like the the real ones, <laughs> and, 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 and like, and she's like the first oh. one. She's like the, fir- the the first girl that came in. She's like, I don't know about that one. No, she's like, I don't. I try to have a conversation with her, and uh, you know, she just wasn't really much there. My <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I think my mom said the one time uh, the girl like she was still in our house and she like went upstairs. My mom's like, this isn't the one. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, oh, alright. Yeah, because yes. I took another I took another one home from for um, for like New Year's. It was New yeah. Year's ninety ninety nine. Okay, two thousand. She's just like this my one. She, my, my mother goes, this one's better. <laughs> Were you in better. college? Uh, I was. I was just got. I just. Yeah, it was. It was my last year. So these were all Florida State okay. girls. See, this I, girl was Florida. This, this girl that I that I took there for New York. This was a girl that was the first one. This is so funny. The first one was a girl, and I and I've, and this is probably something I talk about with Roxy also, and I'm sure you've been through this too. We didn't really get along very well. You and the girl. But yet you still brought her to your parents. I was the this girl, and and this will be the Smoking one show my up. wife actually listens to. Most sexually attracted to anyone I've ever been to, but you know, besides my wife. Sure. Um, and it was, but, but I couldn't stand her. Yeah. It was That's, so weird. But you guys totally. had like great sex or something? It was just, or it was what? just like, it was, it was like an attraction. It was like, okay, a, no, no. Attra- like I happens. remember because she was actually Definitely roommates happens. with my ex girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we were out one night, we, we, my girlfriend and ex girlfriend and I were already broken up, but we were dancing one night in Tampa. And I remember my Great friend, town. my friend Scott. It was like we were on our way to Ybor City. By the way, did you have your piercing in your ear? At that point, I might have. Um, but I was. But we were just Crushing dancing. It. Her and I were dancing because we'd been friends, right? And my friend Scott knew that, we, that I was dating her, uh, or used to be dating her roommate. So he just sees us dancing, and the next thing we just started kissing. Mm-hmm. And he and I remember looking up and seeing Scott going <laughs> with this face, like was. But like I just the rem- dragon when Jon Snow and Dan. yeah. But it's just. But it's that was that connection <laughs> like, though too. So. She, I took her to New York for different reasons. Yeah, the other, show off. Yeah, and it was just you. Know, and it was it, my Mike Citizen who came in. Yeah, uh, with Tom's buddy was my. I met him with the, uh, the night we had drinks at the Improv last week. Yes, so he he is he a continuously this day, this day, he's a big snapper. Yeah. This day breaks my chops to uh, because everybody was going to spring break in like Panama City and enjoying the, the yeah. and I took her to New York in March where it was freezing. Mm, yeah. And so everyone was enjoying it and I, and I was miserable because like I said we don't we didn't really get along. Um and then uh we we the, the girl I took for New Year's we were this was like the first girl this was a girl I was dating right before I moved to California at mm-hmm. Florida State. Okay. So I just graduated college. And so she was someone that you know was just see if it, maybe she was going to move to LA, maybe yeah. she wasn't. It didn't turn out that way, but it was it was much it was much more of a the reason why you do bring someone yeah. on a trip. No, That's I, so weird. I would if I if I had kids and yeah. they brought somebody when they were coming back from college, like visiting, I'd be I'd not want that. My, my mother wasn't well. I, it doesn't matter because because like, I just I would be like, young. no, you're here with family. Bye. Oh, but that was different. That <laughs> that's was, that's, yeah, you're, oh, you're yeah. right. Normally, when I, you come I home like for that. Thing, that, yeah. this was a spe- I was because the the trip the second trip. The second trip, I was already in LA. I just graduated college, so I was telling. I basically told my mom, "I want. I want to take this girl that I'm dating home, and I don't want to stay in a hotel or anything." She's like, "You can stay in the, the room was upstairs, and she was she was fine with it." It was, and I. And, but that was because uh, I was like 21, 22. I wasn't allowed to. Amanda and I weren't allowed to sleep in the same bed until we were married, in my parents' house. That's not surprising. Yeah, because your parents were strict. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're strict. <laughs> my, I, I mean, my mom was just like go in the attic. Like my mom, my, <laughs> that that attic was the best. <laughs> That attic, sin attic, that it, that it yeah. served you well. Fun <laughs> attic. Well, that, that was a fun attic. Yeah. My, it was my, like mo- the, the, my mom tells the a be- story. What was it? The oh, the Beetlejuice, uh, stri- the stripper, the dead strippers. I don't know the what it is. Well, yeah. there were no well, dead. Like he shows. What is that called? Remember? I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, well, there are no dead strippers in that, that attic. But my mom tells a story every time. If I got her on the phone, she would tell the story. She's like, 
the one time I went up there and I found a girl in the closet. <laughs> like in the, in, this was like 90, 95. It was right oh. around the, it was like the movie theater. Yeah. I, oh, hit yeah, yeah. I hit girls in like our water heater room. I hit yeah. girls under couches, in under beds what? in my house. This was yeah. the most ridiculous thing I ever Because my parents were like stealth. They'd come yes. home. Because, well, that, uh. and that, well, that closet, the, because it was, that, that room was huge. Mm -hmm. And I had, I had the bed. It was, it was, it was a big room. Was it like and, where Macaulay Culkin sleeps in Home Alone, like big up there? Like kind that? of. It was, yeah. and, and I had this side room, this little closet that mm -hmm. it was like curtains and stuff on it. But I would like, if someone came over, I could set them up. And even if they fell asleep in there, it was comfortable. Mm -hmm. right? But, and I was like, yeah, she, she won't know. She never comes up here. She, of course she does. And lo and behold, there she is. She's yeah. like, all right. <laughs> she takes off, and that was that was that was uh, one of the many stories. My parents were just detectives. Like, my, I think my mom found a scrunchie in her car one yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. And you know, like that. And I like. Here's the thing: is when you're talking about girls that you couldn't stand, I feel like I dated three girls that I couldn't, couldn't stand. stand. You just had that attraction, attraction though, just attraction. That, that's what that it is. I don't get. Yeah. Yeah. That no, I don't I mean, get. Unless you're having like the stupid, best sex though. of your life, it, it, like it, I just because it, you can find good sex somewhere else. No, but this was something. Yeah. But again, so, I, but no, but it comes from laziness. No, this no. wasn't laziness. No, no, yeah, because you can find somebody else. You just have to work for it, and so that's why people but stay we, in relationships yeah. because they don't want to. They were they're la they're too lazy to go this and find no, other people. This wasn't a very committed it. relationship that I was oh, okay. in. Okay, it, so it was very it was casual, but it was still it was it was enough to where we were like I took her to like if I had events that I was going to in college, I'd take her with me. Like, because it was just, you know. I mean, it's a lot easier. The way Dorina describes it, it's a way easier for girls than it is for guys. For what? Finding somebody yeah. to have sex with. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, well, it's not. It, well, Back in the day, we, not if you're before picky, apps. Not if you're picky. Yeah, I think it's a... It, uh, and also... It, you mean if, if you're not picky? No, if you're picky, it's hard to find it people. Depends, yeah. And what, also, because if you, you're not... Like, there's you want to make sure like, you're attracted to the Exactly. Person. Yeah, that's the... Just, yeah. yeah. And even yeah. with online dating, like, it, there's still, like, people lie... You know, mm, like about yeah. who they are, like it's the, it, or and also you know, there's that whole thing where girls can go hook up with someone and then get murdered. So that kind of sucks. True, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, that's I'm, a good I'm break. Not, that's a yeah. good yeah. break. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go to break when we get back. I think there's some news going on. There, there is. is. Uh, yeah. So we'll talk about some news just for a little bit, and we want definitely gonna open up the phone lines for you guys. And that's the challenge for you: is not only should you come up with someone who stinks, but anything that we talked about. In the first hour, because it wasn't about movies. Yesterday we said, I ah, don't ask any movie questions, all movie questions. Let's talk about stuff that's not movies today. You don't want to deal with it? Then watch some of the old archives one where we talk about movies. Today it's just going to shoot the shit. And we'll talk about movie news when we get back. <laughs> Hey, Collider fans, John Roca here. Look that behind me. There it is, Collider Sports. That's right, that is happening. We've got some great programming on there already for those of you that have already watched. Bam! Thanks so much. we got so much coming down the pike. We're talking about NFL. We're going to talk about NBA. There's plans about NHL. Golf is in the equation now. And, of course, the Premier League show with that I host with Jack Hind. That's been in motion for the last couple of weeks. And then an MMA show is on the way from Dennis Zhang, me, and Jay Williams. All those things are happening here at Collider. And look, we want to hear from you, so we want you to listen. We want you to watch if you're a sports fan. Even if you're not a sports fan, we might entertain you, teach you something new about a sport that you may not have known much about or maybe so deep into it that you wanted to learn even more about it. We've got you covered. You can do that. Follow us on iTunes and on YouTube. You can there watch all the shows uh, or listen to all the shows okay. that you want and then leave us comments and rate uh, the shows as well and review them and then let us know what other sports you want us to cover. Look, we're not touching rugby. Okay. I'll just tell you that right okay. now. That's as far out as we'll go. Uh, or They're cricket. Not touching but rugby, uh, maybe guys. in the future, if we go Collider Worldwide, that's certainly a possibility. But for right now, Collider Sports is there for you. Take a look at it, take a watch, and let us know what you think. Oh, hi guys. It's Perry here, Hello. and I am going to tell you about The Witching Hour. It is the show that I host along with Collider.com's Haley Fouch. It is in podcast okay. form on the Collider Factory feed, and we also have the video up and running every Tuesday for you right there on the Collider Podcast YouTube channel. We talk about everything horror. We're talking TV, yosh, movies, yosh, yosh. the newest releases. We talk about movies that are celebrating anniversaries. We've even talked about books. It's crazy. If it is scary, we are talking about it on The Witching Hour. We also have so many filmmaker interviews, really cool stuff. It's all coming your way every single Tuesday on The Witching Hour. Check it out. Collider Factory and the Collider Podcast YouTube channel. Ugh. 
Hello, Collider Live. My name is Amy Dallin. And I'm Corey Jondro, and we yeah. host a little show we love called Collider Heroes. Yeah. And it is all of the things we love about movies, TV, comics themselves, all the breaking news, yeah. trailers, photos, but not paparazzi photos. <laughs> All of the superhero stuff we love, all of the indie comic stuff we love, all the stuff you had no idea was based on comics. 80 years of comic lore have led to this show Holy and many shit. years in film and TV Holy and we're living in a golden age of comics and we want to share shit. all of that zeal with you folks. So we talk about the stuff that's coming out, we talk about what we hope is coming out, we do fantasy casting of things that should exist, why don't they exist? And we do your Twitter questions asking directly to us what we think of certain things, and every single not week, right now, since we both right actually now, love right and now, read physical right. comics not by right and print, right we have now, a comic pull list where our five right. biggest favorite books of the week come out, and we dive into those with you guys. You can buy digital, I'll forgive you, as long as you're paying for your comics, it's all good. But if you buy in print, you can bag them and board them, and then they're worth more later, because comics are like certain things from the 90s that are totally worth the value. Buy comics, <laughs> buy in print. Digital's never worth anything later. Buy in print, keep comic stores alive. Or we can debate collector's items all day long. We can debate casting, we can debate movie, movie news. We can you have all of our listen. friends come you join us as we listen. frequently you do. We can listen, ask professionals Jack. about their work. We've had some amazing guests come by the show. Yep. We try and we to can catch it every Wednesday. That are on these properties that also love comics. You hear what it's like from their perspective, from inside, from outside. And this is all with the focus of bringing all this news to you guys. You and we're here every Wednesday on Collider. And we love the stuff we're going to share with you guys. We'll see you then. Hey guys, Riley here, and let me tell you about the Riley Roundtable. That's right, they gave Riley his own podcast. The Riley Roundtable is on its new home. It drops every Thursday. The Riley Roundtable is a little bit about everything. It's about movies and life, life and movies and everything in between. I like to have on special guests for discussions like Justice League versus Batman v Superman, for discussions about wine tasting, for discussions about UFOs, and everything in between. That's right, the Riley Roundtable drops on Thursdays on the one-on-one -on -one with Christian Harloff podcast feed and later on Collider Video's own podcast video network. So check it out every Thursday, the Riley Roundtable. See you there. Hey, everyone. John Roca here, one of the hosts for Collider Sports Time. That's our new show there on the Collider Sports Network. It's our flagship show, just like Collider Movie Talk. We get on, talk about a bunch of sports issues of the day and what is burning up social media, what topics are burning up social media. That's what we do on Collider Sports Time. I'm joined by my top 10 co-host, Matt Nost. Me and him, we welcome a bevy of guests every week to talk about NFL. The Major League Baseball playoffs, NHL, and the NBA, which is starting up soon. We're going to talk about that. We also get into UFC stuff, college football, all the stuff that's happening in the world of sports. We're going to cover it on Collider Sports Time. And we're going to take the time to break it all down and give our opinions and our unique takes and unfiltered thoughts on what we think about the sports news of the day. So don't forget to join us every week on Monday for the Collider Sports Time show on the Collider Sports Network. And don't forget to subscribe on the Collider Sports Network on YouTube and on the Collider Sports Podcast feed. We're going to bring you all kinds of stuff. Hope to hear from you soon. Welcome back to another episode of It Stinks. Woo! Josh McCuga, <laughs> Dorina. <laughs> and, and joining us is the new host of Collider Woo! Movie Talk. Perry Nemiroff is here. Weird. Hi, Perry. So weird to hear that. And they keep playing the graphic before we start Movie Talk this week, and every single time I see it, I'm like, is that real? It's up go. right now, Perry. There you oh. go. It's up right now. You're blowing my mind, Cody. Yeah, before we get into this, because I want to talk to you about a lot of this stuff with Movie Talk, if you and Emma, she, oh. she Are you going to ask me the smelly question? No, no, no. Oh, okay. But I am going to ask you, uh, you, you and I have been working together now three, four years. Right? If you were going to say my best impressions, what were the, what were the two that you would say? An impression of a fart? <laughs> that's one. She's no. not wrong. But it, that's not bad. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> but if they were, if it, 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 give me one good impression. One good one, impression? One impression of anybody that I've ever done. I can't believe, give, give me the easy one. An easy one? Yeah. Come on. Then. Come on. Oh, I guess so, yeah. I'm fine. Oh, I immediately burn. went to people that, like, I in actually know. No, no, I'm talking about, like, in general. Yeah. My point is, I got a better one for you. Close your eyes. And he loves us. So, it's so good. And you'll love this because this is I'm so. Like afraid. No, don't be afraid. So I'm not going to throw anything. No, no, she it's hates amazing. It yeah, it's amazing. A little bit. But before you do, move that thing out of the way behind you. Move that out of the way. Just kidding. There's nothing there. Uh, <laughs> Christian, 
I've been doing that to her since celebration. Like dropping, you drive me nuts. Dropping yeah. things on the floor and saying, "Can you pick that up?" And she says, "There's nothing there." It's because so I'm the yeah. sucker that would actually yeah. pick something up. Uh, and I have, and it's I, so and mean because, that you do it to Perry yeah. of all people. I, well, I was doing it to her all Chicago. <laughs> the I was entire doing it, time. and then she was starting to catch on. So I'm sitting next to Riley, and I go, "Riley, tell Perry to pick that up." And then, she, so she, Riley goes, hey, can you pick that up? And she looks down, and Riley goes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, But so, then I caught on by the you time did. you got Emma doing it. Right, and then we just got you five seconds ago. All right, All right so let's hear it. close your eyes. Okay. And this is... Well, I, why am I listening to you to close my eyes? Something to. is going to gonna happen. I, I'll close my eyes. Smart to not I, trust I, him, Perry. I, 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 no, but in this case, you should. I promise you. I'll turn in this direction No, 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 no. Close, close your eyes. I promise you, because it, it won't work if you don't it's do so it. It's so good. I promise. I'm closing my eyes. I don't like his face. We're never going to hear the his face is always like yeah. he's closing. He's closing his eyes because he, for some reason, I, I think you should close your eyes just for a little bit. I'm trusting yeah. you. Yeah. For, okay, for some reason, hear. this one landed. So I'm going to set you up because you, this is perfect <laughs> right. for you. This is my pug who is long, no longer with us, and I want you to picture. Yeah, I want you to picture him licking your face. <laughs> this is wildly disturbing. <laughs> why, why is this a thing? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm on movie talk his every day stinks. and not, and not on this show. Because uh, his breath is my favorite. Yeah. It's my favorite. Yeah, there's a good one. I'll keep doing it. Perry's no. too smart yeah. for this show. <laughs> Perry is. <laughs> Way too smart. <laughs> it's not safe for you. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I include Normally myself. Normally I don't take compliments very well, but I'm going to hold on to that one. That's true. Um, so what's, what's your feeling on the fact that Josh McCuga uh, is not liked by most outlets yeah, by most reporters and, and most out, outlets think he's a large man who screams in movie theaters. They yeah, don't babe. understand him. Don't they don't oh, thanks, see. Babe. I bet you anything. A lot of the people who feel that way about seeing a horror movie with this guy right here, right. they don't it's understand. An experience. Well, they don't understand that it's genuine. Yeah, yeah. they That's probably true. think they're just they think it's a bad. Yeah. being screwed. Yeah, they they probably think you want it. You're doing ruined. it for attention or something. Totally. They don't exactly. understand that you're actually right. legitimately freaking out. No, yes, I don't do well. You're not here to talk about his psychological problems. You're here to talk about today <laughs> the fact that you are now the host of this show. And this has been a thing that has been leading up for a bit. Yeah. You were you were you were brought in but you've been writing for Collider.com for a very long time. I think I was first high. I remember when Steve first offered me the job. Steve Frosty wanted Yes. Trump. It was while I was shooting Child Eater, which was April of 2014. And he called me while I was on set. And he's like, so what would you uh, say if I actually had a full-time job to offer you? And I'd be like, I'm going to take it. Right. And that was it. You, you know did. what the crazy part, though, What's was that? when uh, Perry first took the full-time job and then they were she was going to move to L.A., she was supposed to be the original co-host with me on TV Talk. Oh. oh yeah. Was I really? Yeah, that was <laughs> well that was that was being thrown around. I was like we have this yeah, yeah. we have this girl Perry yeah. coming in, she's amazing. Uh she's this and then I then David Griffin stepped on and, and I was, was like, like I, and then she and then it was sort of pitched to Perry and she's like, eh, I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> did well, you did you so start nice. writing and then you started doing video like or yeah, yeah. writing? Yeah, yeah, I was writing for I wrote for Collider.com yeah. freelance, I think beginning like twenty I've told you what my first piece on Collider.com was, right? The yeah, which one? it was like a it was a photo article about People who during Easter made movie dioramas out of peeps. Oh wow! That is my very first Collider.com. You'll never forget it. That's ever. the Veronica yeah. Corningstone uh, squirrel on the skis, yeah. You'll or, never the, or the it. cat, the uh, the cat fashion show. So yeah. good. That was the thing I wrote about. Yeah, that's really um, funny. Okay, wow. so well, yeah, I remember though because it was Campy and I who were, remember we were working on those lists back in the day, and we were coordinating with you back mm -hmm. in in New York, and then. You move out to Los Angeles and you become part of the team and you, and you fit into uh, to movie talk. You start doing movie talk quite often. And then Ellis took over once John left and you were became more and more of a panelist and you started producing the show. Mm -hmm. But then now the move, so I want you to address this to a lot of people who are wondering, because as we knew, you say 20 minutes and people go, why Why are you cutting it? Like what, what, are, the, what are the reasons between making it 20 minutes long Right, and what can they expect from this new format? Well, I'm pretty sure everybody out there knows that I could sit in front of a camera and talk about movies the entire day. Right. But I want to make sure that every single second of showtime is being used in the best possible way, both in terms of just analytical thinking about all these stories, making sure that we're sitting there at that desk, not regurgitating a story that you could easily read like a blog post about right. somewhere, and we're actually giving some real insight that you can't get anywhere else. So. The idea of shortening it to 20 minutes and focusing on two specific stories lets us narrow our focus and really dig into it a little more. But on top of that, 
we're a busy company here. Mm-hmm. We're producing content nonstop right. and so much. Producing you guys a, do a lot. Yeah, it's crazy. producing a forty to forty-five minute show, especially if we were going to move to five days a week, which is another thing that was very important to right. me. I really wanted that Friday show. I really wanted that Friday show with this guy right here, and right. I want to have a good time every Friday. So adding the Friday beer pong, <laughs> there will be beer pong on the show. I don't know about movie talk, but there might be beer pong in the future. It'll be a it'll be a seated version of a sort of beer pong. We'll figure it out. All right, all right. I'm, I'll lightly agree Friday's, with that for Friday's now. Friday is going to be like the fun the fun. Fri- Friday is going to be a fun day, and I really Hawaiian wanted the day. I wanted the Friday <laughs> show. And if I wanted to do that, we had to shorten it a little right. for production purposes. Also, if we narrow our focus to just 20 minutes of show time, then that frees up more of the day to actually bring you breaking news as it happens. And I'm not talking about what we used to do with Collider News, where you're getting six stories every day. I'm basically talking about the, when the day comes when they cast Batman, right. you don't want to wait until 3 p.m. to hear us talk about it. You want it right on the spot. And if we are not doing all that prep for such an extensive show, we can do that. Right. We can do that then. Yeah, and then we true. could have a whole nother interpretation to give you when movie talk actually rolls around. Now, who are they going to be seeing on for the, for the panel mostly? Will it be new people? Will it be some of the old? Who, who should they expect to see? So, we have a lineup that I'm really excited about. So some of this is going to be a little wonky to start, particularly because Haley Fouch is out for two weeks, but your typical lineup is going to be Mondays with Roka and Haley. Tuesdays is going to be Coy and Haley. Wednesdays, I believe, is Roka and Snyder. Mm -hmm. And then on Thursday, you're getting Jay Washington and a guest. And on Friday, you're getting this guy right here. And a guest. Okay. So and we have an awesome rotation of guests. We, I was just putting that list together with Wendy the other day, and yeah. we're like, wow, we've really compiled a, a cool nice group list. of people here. Becca M. Ford. Becca M. Ford. <laughs> you, see, you dig the it. first you, Friday. You dig it. You the dig first it. Friday movie time. You actually, I would be you actually want her it. on so you can bury the hatchet, right? I do. Yeah, I want to. I, I'm George Costanza. I don't want idea. anybody to not like me. She's mad at us. Did you don't know that? Don't read the comments. I, I I've heard a little bit about this. I didn't about know this. about this until today. I, I don't know her personally, but if there was any way to get her on the show and have her hash it out with you, I would do it in a heartbeat. I think she'd probably be, I think she's worried that we're like out together and it could be the farthest thing from the truth. We're very nice people that just so happen to have is not. No, she's hey, an evil I'm princess. the nicest one here. No, well, depends on what you think of nice. But yeah, no, I, I'm. I, first of all, thank you for asking me to be on Friday because I've been <laughs> the, the inside joke is that I'm not allowed on movie talk. But now I'm back. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, and I'm psyched. I'm psyched for you. I think it's gonna be awesome. So good. Yeah, and yeah. and you, dude. I don't even. I don't even remember when we met. But Perry is the first time I ever saw her interview someone. So good. Oh, like yeah. you are excellent at your job. Coming so, from you, that means no. A lot. You are awesome, and I'm very happy for you. And congratulations. It's Thank true. You. And I said this. I can't remember. It was. I think I told. I don't know if I said it on the air. I think I said it on the air. And I, if not, I should have. Um, I watched it. I've always been a fan of Paris. She knows. She knows that. But I was watching an interview that she did with uh, Christian Bale for Vice mm-hmm. last year, and it was like. Finally, someone who knows how to interview people. Yeah. It's like at the junkets. It's like, and I did. That's I actually, we had a long talk about it on this show. I remember we did talk about it because it was Perry does what most interviewers at junkets don't do. Is she listens. Yeah, she it's, actually has a conversation yes. instead of just Here's shooting question. out questions for no reason. Yeah. Roxy yeah. had a good counterpoint to some of that too, is because sometimes when you work for outlets, they just give you questions to yeah. ask, and you yeah. can't do that. Right. So there's some people that, or just, also sometimes not even just being given questions, but you're given questions that pertain to having things cut up into different videos, right. or maybe right. just sound bites. So it, it isn't everybody's jam because it doesn't need to be. No, it isn't. But, but there's you also, just but, but you ask everything so perfectly, yeah. and you don't even look at your notes. I'm like, what is your witch? But, Meanwhile, <laughs> I go yeah. I go home and I'm like, wow, I stuttered my way through that question I didn't say what I meant nope. there because, what is that but, stinky but, face but, I nah, made see, but it's, a ge- it's it, you're genuine when you're talking mm-hmm. you're having a conversation because you can still and that's what I think you can still ask those questions that they give you that they want you to ask but you still have to listen and you should be yeah. if someone says something because and this was what happened with that Christian Bale Vice interview where is that that's it's on Collider Quick yeah and he, he says something and she stops and she goes you're not giving yourself enough credit or whatever right. it might have been and she and she's like I think other people she's having this conversation with them to where he then responded and it was genuine it was real and that's the type of thing you're going to see in movie talk because this kind of conversations mm-hmm. that will be had with the people there with Perry kind of running the ship well this so. new format also basically gives us 20 minutes to talk about two stories so you're getting like two full 10 minute right. conversations there's no like immediate need 
need to plow through the lineup so we can get to stories three and four, which, to be fair, are usually, you know, Throwaways. they're usually trailer number three right. or something right. along those lines or a casting announcement that, to be frank, might be exciting, but doesn't really warrant a full right. discussion. Right. So you're, you're not just filling time. You want to talk about the stuff exactly. that you talk about in the office if no cameras are on. The other cool thing about new movie talk is that we're going to try to veer away from the interactions on Twitter and instead have the live chat going and be mm. more a part of the show. We're going to have Dorian in that live chat oh, the entire cool. time. And rather than just take Twitter questions at the end of the show, your live chat comments are going to be part of the entire thing from start to finish. There you go. So instead, so maybe instead of doing the uh, thing with the, the iron, mm -hmm. you can just watch movie talk with, with your clothes <laughs> on so you don't burn yourself. Excuse mm -hmm. me. But if she I'm home, I'm not going to wear hand. clothes. Remember well, I told you yesterday before yes, witching you did. hour? I've never done that, but I've I have a habit of burning like the tip of my ear with my hair. Mm -hmm. I think that's it's a, terrible. I think that's a little bit more a probably bearable and and yeah, calm. Yeah, probably yeah, a more yeah, calm. Yeah, a hot curling, curling iron nipple. fell literally on my nipple. Mm. Yeah, it was the dumbest thing. Yeah. I Most hope that thing. never happens, and I'm glad I do iron my hair with a shirt on. Yeah, <laughs> see, that's yeah, because you're smart. <laughs> yeah, like I said, yeah. that's why I'm on the show, that's why and you're, you're on other right. shows. You're on, you're on, you're on the legit. Yeah, yeah, Rebecca yeah. was going to irons for dummies. Yeah, yeah. starting Garina. <laughs> yeah, no, it, that, that's a, the goal of our show is to either talk about that. Dog farts or or something just ridiculous. It's, yeah. it's, it's nonsense. So that's that's exactly what this just. <laughs> it's good. Uh, Not well, bad. listen. Congratulations. Thank you. For Thank you. you. Thank you for it, your support because that also specifically means a lot to me too. You've always been like a a big uh, person who's always been in my corner. So yeah. I appreciate large that. Man. I am. I look, yeah, exactly. Very large man. <laughs> you you <laughs> have a you have a big presence. Thank you so much. Stop, I, stop body shaming Christian. <laughs> 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 it's true. <laughs> well, I, I'm excited. I'm excited to watch the show. And tell me again, when so when does it air again? Uh, we are kicking this off on Monday, May 6th. May 6th. 3 p.m. Oh, PT Live. Coming yeah, up. It's starting Monday. right away, yeah. Excited? I'm, Nervous? All the it's, above? It's a little bit of everything yeah. right now. It's, it's I mean, be between John and Ellis, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Those are some really big shoes to fill, and I just I want to do the best possible yeah. job. And it's like I can't promise you're going to get everything that they gave you, but what right. I can assure you is that I will pour every like ounce of myself, my heart and soul, into making sure every single second of that show is worth your while, and you're gonna love it. Well, I'm speaking of John real quick too, because I know that he had tweeted this out, and actually I, I spoke to him actually yesterday, and he had said that when he left the first place, he had suggested that you were the one who hosts because, uh, and that not not against Ellis, he just thought that Ellis and side of that chair would be able to pop and he's like and then Ellis proved me that I he absolutely should have hosted but he always thought you should have been the host uh, as well and here you are taking the it's it goes what what company to be in with Campia and then Ellis and now you it, uh, it really like I, I can't wrap my head it's around awesome. I was telling someone the other day I'll never forget the first time I came for a trip out here which is like January 2016 it was my first day ever my first day ever on movie talk actually the day before I was sitting on the couch watching you guys do a show and uh, Ray was sitting next to Ray, me and Ray. he leans into me. He's like, so you're going to do movie talk, right? I'm like, yeah, I'm on tomorrow. He goes, don't freeze up. They're going to eat you alive. Like, Is that what he said? Oh, Ray. Like, oh, wow, okay. what a guy. <laughs> I, I woke up at something like 6 o'clock the next morning oh, no. in a panic waiting for the show notes so that, that I could so prepare funny. like crazy so I didn't screw it up. Who was your first show with? Do you remember who your first show was with? I mean, I am. I imagine it was probably, I mean, what was it at the time? It was. Remember. It was probably... John, John, you or Ellis? It was, it was a four person. Campia and, and, and Schnapp, maybe Schnapp. probably. Yeah, yeah, see, that was, that, and it's funny because then, you know, cat out of the back here, Perry had asked me to 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 be on the show in this iteration too, and 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 I'm and I'm definitely thinking about coming back to do spots because I want to help her. But the only reason I don't want to do it has nothing to do against movie talk. It has absolutely nothing to do against her. And I told you the yeah, reason yeah. why. My last show on movie talk ever was his last show. Mm -hmm. And then he signed off for the last time and I did too and I kind of want to keep that. Yeah. I kind of and and I have this show I to talk about. Sometimes forget that he's gone, man. I know. It's yes, crazy. Espe I know. Yes. Especially all during the time. and uh, end game yes. end game is like I Ugh. I felt it but I also felt him there. Yep. Uh, you know, same here. Was, I I totally cried like yeah. thinking about him when I, I was met, watching that movie. The first time I when I saw it at the premiere and then one particular scene happens and and I thought of him immediately and I just could picture him geeking out and like you know, with that thing, and if, uh, feel him here in the studio. Yeah. All I mean, I don't think I've done a show without thinking about his influence. And right. even with something like this, he was 
always in my corner also just rooting for me yes. to host things and just to embrace. And that was what he was all about, too. It was just mm -hmm. embracing what you love, no matter what it was, no matter how many people loved it, too. Just do it. He just wanted you yeah. to do what you believed in. And yeah. doing what scares you, too, in a, mm -hmm. whatever yeah. is scary in a good way that you should challenge yourself. He was always pushing you, and he was always so motivating. One, of my, uh, one of my f uh, friends, uh, she was on Vampire Diaries for a long time, and they go to cons all the time, and she was saying, man, you know what's crazy is some of the, the, the fans have been waiting there all day, they get so sweaty, and I was like, they sure do. Yeah. And I told her this. I told her the John Schnepp thing. I was like, you know, like my buddy was an amazing. He invented this term. And he called himself the King of the Sweaties, and then everybody called him the King of the Sweaties, and that was his thing. And, and she's like, it's so true. Everybody's just very sweaty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she's a very proper girl, so it was a, it was funny coming from her. That yeah. is very funny. Yeah. But uh, he he'd be very proud the fact that you're taking over. Uh, but yeah, again, you know my reasoning for it. It's just it's just that special thing for me. Yeah, Hold I on. get it. Yeah. But. Everyone else is going to be having a blast over mm -hmm. there, and it's going to be exciting to watch. The new version of Movie Talk with Terry Nemiroff, it launches this Monday, everybody. Make sure that you tune in. It's 4 p.m. 3 p.m. 3 p.m. You guys moved to We're moving three. up. I didn't know that. Moving up okay. an hour. Did you say that already on the show? Yes, I did. Well, look, see? <laughs> Pay attention, Christian. It's on the graphic, too. No, it's okay, because you screwing that up basically makes me reiterate. And, yeah, and that's good. Go. And that's put... good. He did it on purpose. 3 I know. That's what, that's what I do on the show. <laughs> it's brilliant. 3 p.m. PST. Make sure that you check it out on this very channel. Perry Nemiroff, host of Collider Movie Talk. Uh, speaking of, uh, where, where the hell is this uh, freaking nature, Riley? Where'd he go? Uh, he was waiting he to just, swap out. He just left the back out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just left the Should studio. I give him the well, cue? No, because it's it's awkward if you. If you there he is. Is he coming in? <laughs> use your, use your shoulder. Say Somebody's coming in. Use your, I don't know use what's your happening shoulder. There. Yeah, you never can get. Hi. A, get the mic. <laughs> Hi. No mic. Get yourself a mic. There he is. That a girl. Um, but we were talking about. We we talked about a lot of shit yesterday. Perry, what's the most odd job you've ever had? Most odd. Oh. Um, it was my first internship in high school. I worked at a, uh, a local radio station, and their mascot was a duck, a big pink duck, and I wore that costume. Did you really? Do you have photos? Are there pictures of that? Please oh, tell me their photos. Not a, there's definitely not of me oh, in the costume, but it. I could find oh. the K-Joy duck for you if you no, want to see I what see I had to wear. I do want to see at least Long Island's 98.3. 98.3 yeah. 98 K-Joy. Yeah. I think, are you busy? You got something to do right now? I'm okay for a little while. All right. Well, there just stay is. until you got to leave. Sure. Um, let's, well, stay, stay until we piss you off. Stay, yeah, which, which will happen in the <laughs> next Stay week. until we start stinking. Yeah. yeah. And then you can yeah, who do you, So right now, Perry, uh, who stinks? And what I mean by that is... Oh. No, no, listen. Not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about the microphone. <laughs> okay. I'm talking about is there is there a particular character on television that stinks? Is there, is there an executive that made a decision that Ooh. stinks? Who stinks right now? Is who there is, is there a movie that stinks? What stinks? TV who stinks? character? It could be, it could be anybody. A yeah. politician? I don't know if we want to go there. But well, let me tell yeah. you before you get into this, and we, maybe we can get into maybe my opinion stinks on this. I watched um, what's it, Life Not Itself? The thing. Oh, and you liked it? I didn't hate it. <laughs> I didn't hate it. Okay. Um, I think it is absolutely what you said. It is manipulative to the nth degree. There's no, there's no doubt about it. But I think because I didn't, <laughs> I mean, see, so is this is us. <laughs> I didn't have to see it in the theater. Um, and mm. I do. I think it's a really well written movie. No. But I didn't mind watching it, and I didn't mind the performances. I didn't think if for me it's if Perry acting looks livid. Yeah. If, did you hate it? She hated. I really, it. yeah, she, I really stinks. did not like that <laughs> she movie. Stinks. Stinks. I, like I'm borderline using the H word for that right. movie because I found it way too manipulative. Right. You right. rarely use that word. Right. Yeah. Appropriate, to, appropriate yeah, to say. To. Appropriate to say you think it stinks. Yeah, okay. it stinks. That yeah. movie does stink. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, I didn't. I, my <laughs> wife liked it. I didn't mind watching it. So. Do you guys think any movies this year stink? So far that I've seen, yeah, I don't think I've what seen a stinky seen? movie yet. I don't know. It's I don't think I've seen slow. anything that's some, been that bad. We've gotten right. a lot of good movies already. So far, so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. What, oh, you know what's stunk? What's stunk? Us. That's stunk. No, uh, how dare you? I'm, that I'm, was a great. I'm movie. not going to say it's stunk. Perry and I will fight yeah. and hex yeah. you right now. Yep. Stinks. I'm yeah. not going to say that it's stunk. I didn't. I didn't love it as much as these two did. But I. I, I thought it was I, that one. I thought it was manipulative, and I didn't think it was as well written as everybody thought it was. I thought it was about as predictable as predictable. You guys just aren't horror fans. No, no, no. That's not true. Uh, Are I, you a horror fan? I'm not, no, I wouldn't just call myself a horror, horror fan. Watch but I, the I thing. like I like good movie. I like science fiction too. So mm. I like horror. I like good horror, good uh, thrillers. I like. I mean, that's really what I like. 
And I didn't think the movie was terrible. I just thought it was about as predictable as you can get. Yeah. There's but so it wasn't many a, questions but about it. The pre- like the actual story, like how it ends, that's predictable. But not just that. Stuff no, in no. the beginning. No, but like, the, but that's not the point. Like the the, the main story that's Stop put on the audience is what the, the point, point of a fucking movie is. <laughs> I hate that. You, you know hate what the point is? The point is the rabbits and the scissors or the, the red <laughs> is stinks. Does her opinion What's on that the, stink? Yeah, your opinion stinks. What? <laughs> okay. Rotten what, tomatoes, what's copyright plot, strike. What's the plot of Let's Be Cops? <laughs> Isn't that predictable? No, yeah, of course, but so it's, it's freaking the hysterical. There you go. And the there you go. But there's no point to Let's Be Cops. The point to Let's Be Cops is make a fun movie, not like, you know what I'm going to do? Us is a fun gonna, movie! I'm going to prove that women are, that, that people are sheep, or that we're bunnies, and we live in a hallway downstairs. <laughs> Give me a freaking break. <laughs> Stop with the points of the fucking movie. <laughs> Perry, no, did you, Perry, little, Perry, did you Perry. regret staying? And does that, no, and does that, really. and does that opinion stink? <laughs> yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. It's his opinion. All right. I don't well, agree nice. with it. Fair you can say it stinks. And I, no, I, I really... <laughs> it stinks. You know, yeah, stink. what I, the only thing I think that stinks so far this year is when I look at comments and I see people saying, your your opinion stinks. Because uh, that's, yeah. that's, yeah. that's not fair. That's not Everyone's mm. entitled to their opinion. Yeah. And even though Us is one of my favorite movies of the year, I totally get the fact that you guys yeah. didn't really like it. I do think there's certain predictable beats in that movie, too. But what makes those predictable beats something special is that they're playing within the tropes of the genre, but they're mm-hmm. saying something more with mm-hmm. it. And... Having that predictability winds up enhancing the message behind it. You know what exactly. didn't stink about wow. that movie? What? It was shot beautiful. No, that the soundtrack. The, I got five oh, on yeah, it. Yeah. That was great. And no. the uh, score is yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah, but score. mostly I got five. The score is one it. of the best horror scores ever. Dude, mm. He uses music like no, no so other. great. He's he's uh, yeah, and that's why I don't I don't think the movie stinks. I I think it's fine. I I mean Get Out is is a hundred times better, but it's it's still. He's the other thing that he has just done is crushed it on box office two in a row. He's mm-hmm. going to be do- and he's he's really great for the genre. He's Have really you great watched any film. of the Twilight Zone? Does anybody watch any? I've of the watched Twilight? two of them. And, and? I like them. Yeah. I like them. I'm not flipping out over them or anything. Yeah. I like the first one with uh, Kumail Nanjiani mm-hmm. a lot better yeah. than I like the second one. Still work for me though. I mean, there was so much hype going into them, and I feel like they launched, and because they're on CBS All Access, it's just yeah petered. He, here, you know what I think. What, what was the phrasing? I, what what I think stinks. stinks? Yeah. Yeah. You know what stinks? What stinks? I hope I don't get in trouble for this. Good. I think the CBS All Access app stinks. Oh. 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 Stinks. Yeah. Why yeah. Did yeah. Okay. Why did you stink? Tell us. Tell us. One of the things I was most excited about yeah. when I got CBS All Access is put, it's a streaming app that real quick, lets you Cody, download Cody, content. Cody, put on the board: Universal's mad at us, and CBS is mad at us. Go ahead. Go Owned by the same people. Oh, so NBC Universal. You download that app, and the cool thing about it is, like Netflix, you can download the content and take it with you when you don't have Wi-Fi. And as someone who flies a lot, that is very, very important. That app never works. The app will get like stuck on the eyeball at the beginning Mm. and never even load. And a lot of the times when I download content to, I don't know, take on the treadmill, to take on a plane, and I go to watch it, I'm all excited to catch up on Discovery or Twilight Zone, you name it. The thing doesn't play, and if it does it play, there's dropped frames in it. The dialogue uh, doesn't match up with the mouse. Yeah, I don't understand how there's stinks. no updates. That does stink. Yeah. It does stink. All right, yeah, well, I think that's, I think that's warranted. Yeah, do yeah. you feel better stinks. saying it? it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I feel like I've just been stewing behind yeah. the scenes and bitching to <laughs> bad for a while. Do you understand why we have so much fun on this show yeah. now? Here's you, the thing. And get ourselves in trouble. It's like a nice way to start the day. It's a little cathartic. Here's the thing. You can tell us things stink because you're our friends, and we respect respect your opinions. I can tell you think stink. Right. Yeah. I can tell you you're the black princess of death. Yeah. And also the I point of movies Josh stink. and we're still friends. Yeah, correct. It's all good. It's all good. I scared the shit you out of them this morning. People that don't know us can't be like, hey, you stink. Because we don't know you. And that's just right. a straight up insult. That's well, the flip. I mean, you can say it. Well, you can say I, you I, stink I, if you smell I mean, bad. We, well, that's you, don't, you don't know like Jordan Peele and you just said his movie stinks. Uh, I didn't say he stunk. You said his movie stinks. Yeah. So you can still, I mean, you know, so you can see. So you're saying someone could look at your show and say the Josh McCougar show stinks. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. But that's different than saying Josh sucks. Yes, or stinks. as a person. Yeah. 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 That's a different show. That's tomorrow's show. Josh yeah. stinks. sucks. Um, yeah. I thought there was Got a the title. title. <laughs> All right. Well, you're not on the show. <laughs> Riley, let's, let, I want to open up the phone lines. Um, oh, okay. And we can get the phone lines going, and then maybe you got your, let's hand a laptop. No, the laptop. Laptop. So, Riley, yeah, yeah. He, he's going to. But gonna I do f- know some news off the top of my head. What do you got for news? Let's talk about some news, and then we'll open up the phone lines. Well, I think this is pretty big that got, Amy Pascal is moving from mm. Sony. She's been there for many, many years. She's uh, one of the architects of their Sony Spider Man universe. She's going to Universal. Maybe she's she knows going Becca to Universal. Yeah. 
<laughs> Let me text Amy and yeah. find out. Uh, this, Do you know Rebecca Ford, the, Amy Pascal? The, the fact that Amy Pascal stuck around at Sony for as long as she did with all those leaks and all everything. All the Sony mm-hmm. hack stuff yeah, is man. pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. And ended up around. being involved in Spider-Verse. That's because insane. Because of the deal. She's a, she was a primetime executive. She was a mm-hmm. good, well, depending on how you look at it, I, I she's responsible for a lot of horrible stuff over there, and too. And good stuff. And good stuff. I mean, I think, wasn't she at Columbia? Did she, she was she was involved in Groundhog Day. And is like, that what it is? And yeah. Awakenings. Like, she's, she was involved in good movies back in the day. After reading a lot of those leaks and stuff, too, my opinion kind of went down on her from listening to Oh, she all. probably sucks as a person. I'm just saying she yeah. might be a good producer. You think it's Pascal or Pascal? Pascal, I thought it was. Um, that's how I say that's it. That's how I say it. But, like, it's the front. Perry, her going over Universal. Good thing, bad thing? Um. That's a good question, actually. Yeah. And how will Rebecca M. Ford react? <laughs> you're, you're digging yourself your own grave. I figured this was going to happen because I believe whatever deal she most recently struck with Sony was up about now. And I had a feeling she wasn't going to stay there. And the idea of her going over and working with Donna Langley as like a really, like I don't know, not that they're going to work together on everything, but having like two such yeah. significant female forces high up as execs. That's really exciting. And, you know, things I have to give her credit for is she's a, she was a studio exec, but yeah. she's also a prolific producer. And mm-hmm. to have all of those skill sets kind of in your toolbox is really important. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's, a, you know, and it could also be a, a brand new start, you know, mm-hmm. over because Sony had ups and downs and things that worked and things that didn't. And that's that's anywhere. What right? was Universal's biggest recent hit? Jurassic um, and Fast and Furious. Yeah, yeah. yeah those okay. are the franchises. I think those are their two big franchises right now. I'm sure I'm forgetting the animated things like Minions, right, right. and the Harry Potter worlds. But oh, well, the parks. Are, yeah, and they share the that. Parks. Well, yeah, they had the parks. They would license with Warner, Warner Brothers. Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, I mean, inter- I, I, it's be very curious to see what happens and where she goes in the moves. She needs to make a big move on her first one. I mean, that's that's how you how you start out and just make a big splash is whatever it might be, maybe. Could be a big director. Who's coming back? Is uh, Bayona still coming back to do Jurassic uh, World 3? Or no, Trevorrow is coming back. Is he really? Yeah, so yeah. he's going to do a third. I did not know that. Well, I guess it cleared up after episode 9. Is that how through. you say his name? Trevorrow, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I always read it as Trevorrow. Trevorrow? No, yeah. it's Trevorrow. I think I said Trevorrow on that Saturn when he came red in. carpet. Yeah. yeah. No, when I first interviewed him. Yeah, it's Trevorrow. Yeah. Um, interesting that he's going And there's back. no more Monsters Universe at Universal? They, no, after they Mummy, shit. That yeah. thing crashed They're, and burned. They yeah. built offices for that and everything, and it yeah. just Damn. was like Dumb. wiped but, away. But, that uh, made me so sad. Boosman was... How do you pronounce his name? Goosband? No, Boosman? Or do you know... Are you talking Invisible about Man. Invisible Man? Yeah. yeah. I know that still. <laughs> Darren Lynn? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Darren Lynn, uh, yeah. Isn't that it? What the fuck are you guys talking There's about? There's three names in there, right? <laughs> We're not, we're not gonna get there. Thank you, Cody. I'm glad we got a call. Cody's like, that works. All right. He's, uh, uh, Bosman, uh, Hudson, uh, Forrest, uh, Darren Lynn, uh, 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 yeah. 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 right. yeah. Cody's trying to let us. Cody, do we have a phone call? Are you sure? Yeah. 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 Yeah, hi, uh, I can't believe this word. <laughs> I, I've been trying to call since the first day of Collider Live. Oh, wow. Nice. Wow. It's 135 shows and you've made it, my friend. I hope you showered in between there because if not, yeah, you stink. You stink, yeah. but I'll tell you something right now and remember this. This is your shot. Don't you fucking blow <laughs> Don't it. Don't you blow it. Don't you blow it. Um, I, I think I'm going to blow it. But I'm oh, you're fine. <laughs> what, do you, what do you got for us, buddy? Uh, honestly, I don't know what to talk about. I just want to tell Barry, uh, you rocks. We, uh, I, we met you in 2016 at Comic Con. Me and my brother, we were at the meeting, uh, meet and greet. I think I, I remember think, uh, this you, too. Really? We were the fat, sweaty guys who came uh, directly <laughs> from the airport to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I remember we, meeting you, man. Where, where do you guys? Where are you? Yeah. Where are you coming? Where are you calling from? Uh, I'm actually I'm calling from overseas. Okay. I, uh, I'm currently in Saudi Arabia, but uh, oh, wow. I'm oh, wow. from wow. Florida originally. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I just wanted to say hi and thank you for the content. Oh, oh thank, thank you. So much. What, a wonder, thank you. what a wonderful call. You did not blow he, he the did not call. Blow it. No. He made it. I'll tell you what that did. 
That didn't stink. That no, did not stink. Not. That was a good. That was a good call. So good job on Cody for finding that guy. Because uh, thank you. Good job, Cody. Round of applause. Cody giving himself a round of applause. Speaking of Cody, no, he Did you guy. guys see <laughs> the latest Wangers no, short? Is it great? No, he's so good in it. Yeah, he bad. was cracking me up. You guys need to watch There's it. Well, Cody, what, Cody, it, when are we doing? When are we going to start working on your stand-up set? Have you made a decision? Uh, no, I absolutely have not, Christian. Oh, well, <laughs> well, 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 <laughs> I'm that not. That was a thing, and I'm uh, going to think about it again. What'd you say? I forgot that was. Thing. Oh well, you know I'm not going to forget about it. Understood. Wait, yeah. is it is the newest short the Hulu uh, Uber one or is no, it, he's dressed like a, a, he's dressed like a porn flasher or something, right? <laughs> no, it's uh, he's like the love guru. No, it's like a yoga thing. It's a yoga instructor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it comes out this Saturday on YouTube. It was on our Patreon last week. Oh, is that how you saw it? Yeah. Okay. And so how well, the hell could we have seen it? I can. You send can. It to you guys. They can send you the link. They don't send us anything. We know. Well, people. Cody, why don't you send them? They stuff? Don't like we can send them. You got to You got to put the video of your little daughter doing the yoga pose. At some point, because that's I don't the know if I'm put that. I'll, I'll show. I'll show you show guys. You off gotta show. I, think, so I think cute. that's what I wanted to show Roxy. I'll, uh, I'll say that I forgot yeah. about. Um, okay, let's. We'll, we'll wait for another phone call when Cody's ready. He'll let us know. And Riley, you got anything Twitter or Facebook? Yeah, I, uh, no, but I do oh, have a little bit okay. more news that I, I want to talk about. Uh oh, what do we got? Mm. It's uh, on uh, MTV's Josh Horowitz show, Happy, Sad, Confused. Is this breaking news? Uh, somewhat. Okay. Uh, there might be a Willow TV series. Oh, I heard oh, this yes. morning. Plus. I heard this I, this morning. So Ron excited. Howard. Ron was on, Howard yes, is yes, saying yes, yes. It, it's a possibility, and John Kasdan is somebody. While they were making Solo, it was like, when there's Willow, winners are yes. Willow, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Disney so Plus this is, is an option. Talk about a, a reboot that actually should happen. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, look, this is uh, it's funny because I was on uh, Frosty, Heidi, and Frank, the. Amanda local, caught you this morning. Did she really? Yeah. Uh, the local show on yeah. uh, on KLOS here, and we talked about that. And this is why Disney Plus is such a game changer because you can do shows like this that, that they have in their oh, wow. library and take Willow, which is pretty beloved, right? And you can make a streaming service out of it, mm-hmm. a streaming uh, television series out of it. And I think it's. A I would really sign up to the Willow streaming service. Right? Yeah. Give me, give me just that. Just all show. Willow. Oh, yeah. Willow. Just all Willow. All Willow. Riley, do you think, do you think that uh, Mad Mortigan is recast, or is Mad Mortigan come back as an older uh, fat Val Kilmer? Ooh. Well, you know, I Val Kilmer. I hope Val Kilmer comes back. He got in fighting shape did for, for what? Top Gun Two. Oh, oh, did he really? Shit. He's coming back. Oh, so. I think that if uh, that's the case and he, he gets a little mojo back, I, I would want to see Mad Morgan, Val Kilmer in this show. Me, me too. That would be great. I just don't know where they're going to set it. You know, is it, if it's right. going to be, you know, I, I, I don't want a prequel. I would want New it Willow to, or are they going with Warwick? Well, they got to go with Warwick. Not necessarily. Well, they're going to go young now. Again. So How you got to go now? with Warwick Davis. He's 40, so he okay, did, so look he's what fine. he's doing at Celebration. No, he's that so guy's good. running around having Warwick fun. Davis? He's probably in his 40s. You can't gotta be like recast 50s. that role. No. You put him in that role, and if anything, and you want to bring in a new generation, you have him pass, the, pass baton the baton to maybe another lead yeah. character. Yeah. Let me tell you my favorite thing about Celebration with Warwick Davis. He rides around on this scooter interviewing people, mm-hmm. and it is the greatest thing ever. He just he's zips, so good. He's so, he just zips around the convention center just interviewing people on this scooter, and it's just like, why weren't you around to teach JTE how to do that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. February 3rd, 1970, so he's almost 50. He's almost 50. Okay. 1971? 1970. So he 1970, could, he so he's 49 years old. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is when we need Nathan, Riley. Right. Yeah, well, right. well, I think I think Perry's right. I think that if you if you wanted to use him in that way of, like, he's, the adventure has con- continued. Well, if you use him, then you have to use mm-hmm. Val Kilmer as Matt Morgan. You, you guys know. have seen yeah. Life's Too Short, right? Mm-mm. He's great. You've never seen that? Never yeah. seen it. That it's was a great show. A Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant. Oh, I've heard about where it. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it follows yeah. Warwick Davis as he's trying to like get Break. acting roles yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah. It's where that famous Liam Neeson scene comes from when yes. Liam Neeson mm-hmm. wants to get into comedy. It's on the show. It's an HBO show. It's so it good. is genius. I mean, all of the stuff that Ricky Gervais did after The Office for HBO, like extras and Life's Too Short, and, uh, uh, Idiot Abroad. Idiot and Abroad's amazing. It's amazing. And the Ricky Gervais show, too. And the Ricky too. Gervais show so was good. super funny. It has all been just brilliant comedy. It's weird that like Ricky Gervais was never in a movie that he led that was really that good, but he's such a great TV actor and yeah. a great like character added to a thing. Well, Willow, yeah. Willow Show, do we need it? Yes or no? No, but I want it. Fair enough. Do we need it? Need it doesn't sound like a fair way to pose that question, I'm but, but it sure, that way. I, I think the Disney Plus streaming service would be better off with one. So you need it. Yes. See, okay, so you answered the question. <laughs> That's such a nostalgic piece of nostalgia that I will most definitely it. watch it. Right, I know you need, need it. it. I need it. So there <laughs> need we go. It. Uh, that does not. That choice does not stink. Hey, you are on Collider Live. Who do we got today? Hey, this is Phil Strickland. How are you? From Hello, Mesa, Arizona. It's nice to see you. Wait, Mesa, Arizona. 
Yeah, I'm the guy who sent Riley the cow blanket. Oh, hey. Hey. Right on, right on. dude, that thing hey. is on us all the time. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. Uh, what do you got for I'm us happy today? To hear that, Phil. What's what's so with Amy what's pa- the news? with Amy Pascal going over to Universal? Do you think this hurts Spider-Man staying with Marvel? I personally don't because it's mutually beneficial, but a lot of people are kind of thinking it might. No, not at all. They, they because they're, they're this is a. Uh, Right now, Marvel is the, the top the top dog right now. You want to you want to partner yeah. up with them, and uh, and it also depends on how long their deal is for this particular stretch of films that they're, they're you know that they're going to work. And I don't know how that what that original deal looked like once they said, okay, listen, you, we're going to put you inside the MCU. Is it three films? Is it five films? Is it ten films? It doesn't matter if Amy Pascal's there or not. Also, didn't didn't it wasn't this also news, Riley, that Lord and Miller are going to be overseeing Marvel TV? That's exactly right. Yeah, they're going to be doing Sony. So it's basically Sony. Sony. They're right, doing right. their Spider Verse universe okay. on they're television. Oversee to, on television right. through Sony. Television. So that's exciting. I yeah. also think she's still like I know she's still producing the Little Women movie, and I think she's still working on the Spider Man film. So it's not even though her deal is going over to Universal now, she'll still be going back to Sony to work on the projects right. that she's basically worked on for a while now. There you go. Awesome. Thanks for the call, my man. Phil. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks Phil. Uh, yeah, we'll take some more. We'll get, we'll Phil? Get, we'll definitely Phil enough Connors? time. Punks Tony. Oh, yeah. yeah. such a good movie. Oh, great movie. One of the so best. Good. They better not remake that one. I don't need no, to. They, they basically a, did it with Happy Death movie. Day. They, 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 they remade it. I mean, it's kind but of the same But that's a good one. It's got a completely one. different spin on it. Yeah. I know, but that's what I'm saying. I'd rather them do it that way yeah, than yeah. try to remake the movie. I do also love Happy Death Day. The first or second or both? Both. I've only seen the first one. Second one's pretty good. That's what I heard. Second one yeah. is cool because it retreads some similar yeah. story points, yeah. but it also does something kind of completely different, and I liked it. Okay, I need to watch it. You just zoned out? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mark Yodius Rileyus? <laughs> yes. What do you got? What do I got and what? <laughs> so your job on this show sometimes is to look through the Facebook questions Anthony, and Twitter during I, this time. Uh, he's wearing black gotcha. today. Riley doesn't give up. I, I got gotcha. you. I just love your uh, I got a good one because, uh, Perry, you're in here. You can help us with this. Anthony oh, no. Castelnovo, when do you think we'll get an It Chapter 2 trailer? Give me some. Guys. You, you should do that in the, uh, in the microphone next time. I did. Oh, good. <laughs> Drop so much on you know what stinks? You idiots eating <laughs> granola. <laughs> granola. That granola doesn't stink. It was it's tasty. Really good. My lunch, you asshole. It's so good. Um, anyway, what the hell was the question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. When are we going to get an It Chapter 2 trailer? Annabelle. When Annabelle comes out. Makes I was sense. betting yeah. on La Llorona to get a teaser trailer, but clearly that didn't happen. So, Annabelle. When, when Annabelle does comes Annabelle home, actually supposed June. to come out? June. Okay. June. God. Yeah, I think June's probably June, probably. and then they're going to roll out some clips and do something big at San Diego Comic Con when they do Scare Diego. Yeah. Yeah. If we're yeah. all still right. friends, can somebody take me as their plus one to the mm. eight, eight, chap, eight, eight, two screening? You can yeah. have my, my plus no, one. You're going. No, you're, you're going. going. Oh, I can't you can't wait for that. Yeah, I can't wait for the reaction. All right. We got somebody else in there, Cody? Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hey, you are on Collider Live. Who do we got? Hey, this is Tyler from Tennessee. What's up? Hello. Hi. Uh, first time caller? No, uh, third or fourth. Actually. Look at you. Mm-hmm. All right. Tyler. So perfect. Yeah, yeah, true. I love it. What do you got for us today, Tyler? Jack well, Daniels, man? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, sure, sure. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, but just first off, you know, I'm a big fan of the show. I appreciate all that you guys do and been watching Colliders since like the first well I got behind on it but I'm caught up <laughs> way to go uh, Tyler don't let it happen again you <laughs> son of a bitch I'm kidding I'm sorry God <laughs> ah. uh, but uh, just curious uh, like what's the chances that the Schmodown could ever come to Tennessee well, that's a good question look this is one of the things I'm actually having gonna, after Today, sometime today, I'm having a meeting with someone that I hope that uh, can can help push along the word of the Schmodown. One of the things that I try to tell everybody is whether you watch it or or haven't watched it yet, but if you've watched it, to make sure that you click like on every video, share it, uh, let people know that it's out there to spread the word for it because it's a matter of where we think the audiences are are, are strong because right. because the one thing is. We can go to Tennessee. And Nashville? Can, Memphis? Yeah, we can go there, and I have to see what, what the audience is like. But if we go there, and we get a theater that's like, I don't know, 500 people, 
But then I'm flying everybody out there. Then I'm putting everybody up at uh, at hotels. It gets pricey, so you want to make sure that the 500 people are going to show up. Because if only 100 people show up, then that's a that's a Dish. big hit. So yeah. and I don't know what our I don't know what our audience is like there. So as the audience grows, there's going to be a lot more places for us to go. That's why I encourage everybody if you're not. Uh, going to the Houston show yet, or you're close to being able to go, please go to that show at the uh, SchmodownLive.com. Booker T will be there for a meet and greet as well. Sold around 320 tickets so far. Um, so we're hoping to keep building that up and get how a many big does audience. It fit? How many can how many Well, they can stuff? stretch it out. Like if okay. we can pack it up at 400, they can stretch it out and make it 800 oh. because of the, the it's a wrestling arena. So it, it's it's really up to the fans. Like gotcha. if the fans come out and we there's there's really not going to be a sold out thing because unless like a thousand people today decide they want to come come watch it. Right. But it is a show. Perry, you went to your first one in Chicago. Were you kind of blown away with the audience? No, I, I went to uh, I think I went to one or two one? here in LA oh, did you? too. Yeah, yeah. But the first one on the road really. That, I, guess, I right, mean, yeah. that was also a very impressive looking theater too. It was, yeah, it was yeah. beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah. Crowd and was crazy. Because, yeah, Star Wars Chel- Celebration crowd was one of the was awesome. best possible like merging scenarios of yes. two brands. It there. really worked, and it was fun. You know, Chelsea Handler was, creepy. Was Chelsea Handler? No, no, the theater. In the oh, basement. the theater. Creepy. But Chelsea, well, that I was loved the, it. Chelsea well, Handler, by the way, I think sold out the Athenium uh, a couple weeks later, right, and, mm-hmm. and performed in front of it. And she was taking pictures from a green room that I certainly didn't see yeah. when we were there. Um, like she, the, the, she was there was no basement thing for her. She was she she looked like she was pretty comfortable. Uh, the the it, real question, yeah. And they, no, there's not a lot of chips. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> too bad Alex is in here. Alex bought thirty five yeah. bags of chips. You knew that too. I, I, yeah. I feel like I've heard like every other word of the chip story. Right. You saw yeah. you saw all the chips when you were there. Did you steal any? Did were they, these were at the live event? Oh, yeah, they you put them all like downstairs? You weren't no. downstairs, though. All, all I did was clean out the whiskey bottle, and yeah. then I left. Right. If yeah. I gave you... She so, sneaked out. Perry, when you were <laughs> when you were in big, you know, hot shot host of movie talk, Whoa. if Oof. I, if I, and you were PAing, oh. and I said to you, I'm going to give you $150 to get food. Yikes. Wait, wait, wait. I'm PAing for you at Schmodown? Yeah. This is a hypothetical. Was, hypothetically. Okay. And I said to you, here's $150. Mm. To go buy some food for everybody. What, me, do you, what do you think you'd buy? Let me defend Perry here real quick. I yeah. think I would buy one bag of chips and pocket the rest of the money and go home. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, look, you're smarter than, than most. Yeah. Perry, does, fire tomorrow. Perry is a Postmates uh, oh, savant, boy. if you will, but yeah. she only orders from one place. I do. Oh, <laughs> Which is, is what place? I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, What's that thing you always is, get that looks like sell. pudding? Wait. Oh, and, We've talked about Asa e bowls before. Oh, that's something. Ken Every, says he shits his is pants that what you were Ken just can't handle it. Asa e bowls are great. No, yeah. that's not where I Postmates from. Uh, by Chloe. I am okay. not vegan. I just happen to like, like that it. place in particular. Right. And it's so easy. I mean, we're working our asses off all day. Sure. I don't want to risk it and order from a place I don't know, have it come, pay that fee, and then be like, well, let's, I don't like my let's lunch. Let's talk about this Asa e bowl because, yeah, yeah. because I saw it. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, I saw, uh, that's, Thanks, guys. I saw it too. <laughs> Beautiful bastard. I don't know, two years ago, when they first, it was Grace and Perry, they were eating it. And I said, that looks good. And Ken pulls me aside. He goes, don't you do that. Yeah. He goes, don't. He said, don't you do it. He's like, I, it, it, it put me out of commission for like. <laughs> yeah, Ken's belly week. was probably like restructured by all the 7-Eleven he eats. It's true, true, true. Maybe if he had enough acai bowls, it would reverse that. Maybe so. I can just tell you that Ken and I crushed a lot of hot dogs in Chicago. Those yeah. hot dogs were delicious. That's I one can't. thing they don't sell at 7-Eleven, though, is acai No, bowls. they do no, not. And if they did, you shouldn't eat you it there. You shouldn't eat it yeah. there. Right, uh, Cody, you got anybody else? Good. Yeah. All right, you are on Collider Live. Who we got right now? Sound bite. How you doing? This is Jamal B. Castro from Chula Vista. Hello, yeah, Jamal. Yeah, Chula Vista. Hello. Good if you, tacos. If you, if you would be so kind to turn your uh, computer down, my friend. What's going on? Um, my question is, in your opinion, what would you think if the next Indiana Jones movie, Indiana Jones 5, was going to be a Logan-style Indiana Jones movie? It's interesting. Yeah. Thanks for the call, Jamal. Um, I still, my, my, I still like to cross my fingers and hope that what they do, the way that they can actually turn it into a franchise, is to have very similar to what they did the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. Mm-hmm. What was it? Who was mm-hmm. it? Who, Riley? Who played I'd Young like Indiana Jones? Sean Patrick Flannery. Yeah. When they did this one episode to where you, Indiana Jones, Harrison Ford was had this whole mission in the beginning, like the snowy forest, and then he flashed back and saw himself as a younger mm-hmm. Indiana Jones. I think that they could do something like that in this movie, and they could recast. Him as a younger guy, whether it's you know the easy version of like Pratt or Bradley Cooper, whoever it is, but 
having Harrison Ford have his adventure, but then flashing back to it, I think similar to what they were going to do with Die Hard Year One, which is unnecessary, um, but to do it with Indiana Jones, because then you can start a franchise with that person if the audience accepts them, because they, yes. they wanted to do Shia LaBeouf, and everyone was like, no, thank that you. That did not work no, out. No, thank you. But that's also the movie's fault. Absolutely. The way that they pitched him it wasn't, it wasn't, I mean, Shia was a great actor. Just there are some movies where he stinks, mm-hmm. and that one was one of them, but, but like you said, it wasn't his fault. Right. Um, but I think that if they did it that way, I think to me that would be what I want to see, not necessarily just him just old by himself. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think if, it, because, you know, obviously Indiana Jones Crystal Skull is not, yeah, it's not we good. We do not speak yeah. of that movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. Still, I can't believe how highly rated it is on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> it's bonkers to me. Uh, that left such a sour taste in my mouth that yeah. I just want to remember the first trilogy. And if they expand and like jump on and create a new franchise with somebody that's already like an established star, I'm not super psyched about. It. I wouldn't mind getting like maybe a smaller name TV star to can we make the franchise their own instead of like, well, Pratt's already got two friggin' giant franchises. Yeah. Yeah. Bradley Cooper already in so much. Like, give me maybe like a somebody that is an up and coming that could be that charming Indiana Jones yeah. that isn't it's not already like a, a Henry yeah. Cavill in Man of Steel where he was. Is not a huge, uh, right. he was not super well known, totally. right? But it's it just, I would rather them do something like The Mummy where they just make a not an Indiana Jones movie. Like, I would just rather them make another old school, adventure like, movie. adventure mm-hmm. movie. Like, that's what I'm craving that doesn't well, have to do with the franchise. We just got Tomb Raider, which has those kinds of vibes yeah. to it, the way that they actually adapted it was this time. Good? It was It was okay. It was fine. Yeah, it was, I it was think, fine. yeah, that's the F word I would use. It yeah. was fine. With the, something like Indiana Jones, I feel like I have such a sour taste in my mouth as yeah. well from the last one. And then on top of that, it doesn't help that we keep talking about it and it never happens. Right. I feel like that makes it worse. The idea of bringing Logan into the equation definitely piques my interest. Right. Not because necessarily I want to see you know, Harrison Ford being old man Logan by himself. But I just like the idea of doing something completely different tonally. I think that's the way to get me back what in. What year does it take place then? It would take place in like the 60s or 70s? It's got it, right? Hey, so there's some your mic's uh, not actual working, new... Bradley, right, what would you do to your mic? Yeah, yeah. mic's not working. Is it off? Is it off? Try that. Here. Yeah. It was off. And oh, I there you go. No, there you Hold go. Hold on. Uh, How about now? There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, some people on Twitter just sent me a making Star Wars. So Scoop? let's classify mm-hmm. this as a rumor because it does have to do with next in Indiana, in, in Indiana Jones. Spit it out, boy. One is that we have Dan Fogelman uh, saying that he's coming in uh, to rewrite the script. Okay. Now, this yeah. is the guy that did uh, Life Itself, right? Life Itself. No, Fogelman no. is the bigger yeah. No, no, no. Right? No, let me find it. That's him. That's yeah, him. Logan, yeah. Cars and this is us writer. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Perry doesn't like this. And that, <laughs> but John Casden and again making Star Wars, they're yeah. pretty good. No, they usually get a lot of their stuff right. Yeah. Um, I'm classifying this as a rumor for mm-hmm. now, though. Just so you they're know, saying guys. that Fogelman's coming in to retouch the script. That's that's the big correct. Scoop. That's the big scoop. However, my sources itself, believe yeah. that the premise is the same one in Casden's script, uh, which, which had uh, short round returning. Interesting. Uh, and that there was a train that was filled with Nazi gold and masterpieces that was then dug in tunnels by the Nazis and hidden. And that, like would, that. that would be revolving well, you know around what's good about, I'll tell you what's good about that, because you can get Nazis. a lot of those old Nazis on the run. Yeah. That come back. Yeah. And Indy's at his best when he's fighting Nazis. Because remember, totally. they yeah. went to the, the Russians yeah. in uh, uh, Crystal terrible. Skull. And then right. it's like, you know, it's like Indiana yeah. Jones... Goes with Nazis like peanut butter and jelly. They you do. know, yeah, it's just that's, that's what he does. Listen, yeah, don't do, sell they Kali gonna, Shakti Day short though. That's true. Are they going to bring Karen Allen back, but like her original role and not the crappy role she did the last <laughs> movie? Uh, let Probably me check. Not. This or article not does this not annoying, say nagging. What is so weird? Yeah, not going to happen. Because she's such a badass in the first one. Yeah, well, well, she comes well, back. They're married comes back. Now. She comes back. Oh, they are married. Is that what happened at the end? At the end of Crystal Skull, yeah, they got married. I've seen that movie once and I never wanted to go back to I blocked it out. Yeah. It's so stupid. I've revisited a couple times, and, and it gets worse and worse, right? Yeah. It's fine. There's it's, moments, but they're, it's you're, overall. You're it's just, a nicer human than I am. I'll yeah. Tell you. Well, I'm a uh, sucker I was the for girl Indy. Billy Patterson's podcast to talk about it. And I told him, I was like, this, the, uh, no way does that interest me at all. Yeah. What do you think? You think like. we should do one more? Try to get one more call in here. Let's try yeah, one we more. got about four minutes. Cody, you got one for us? No. Mm-mm. He's he's working on it. That's why he's quiet back there. He's trying to get me. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yes. Hey. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. I was hanging All right, there. Last yeah. call of the day. You were on Collider Live. Like Who do we got? You still there? Um, wait. Oh, hey. Sorry. Uh, my question is, are you guys ever going to bring back like the old 
games from like the shows, you know, like uh, your celebrity dating game or anything like that? Um, McCougan and I have been talking about it, although it's been really just talked about on air. Yeah. Um, but we want to, yeah, for sure. It's just, I think that we just need to. And I don't know, there's been talk about moving the show to Studio A if we got soundproofing and things too. It's just a matter of uh, space. space. I, I would like to do some game. We can still do games in here for sure. Yeah. I think yeah. We've done come. them already. Yeah, yeah but we, we just haven't done we, them it's, we, it's, we, it's harder with because we don't have like a ton of different people. Like in the Schmozno back in the day, we had like nine people that How were many? just there to party, eight, nine, whatever. Mm -hmm. And. In this situation, we have to like pull people from the Nine. office and like work on it. You know what I mean? It's it's just a little bit different. Yeah. You have to be prepped for a certain right. guest. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. We can do guests. We can do like games inside of sure. here. Um, I still thought about it, and I know it's probably in my head. It's where you, when you know something was, it went good once, went terrible the second time. You stay away from it. But I thought with the introduction of Patreon, an after hour show on Patreon would be interesting. Okay, but. It's yeah, sorry about the awkward uh, start. Um, I'm watching the Collider Live right now, and it's delayed. That's okay. Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, I'm on phone. Yeah, we yeah. Just, just blame it on Cody. That's what we do. All right, thank you so much for the call. Thanks for the call. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Okay, listen, that's the show for today. Very happy to uh, to make sure that you guys know what the hell we're doing on this show, and that's nothing. So uh, yep. I'd like to thank Co uh Perry, for actually changing that today, and we actually talked about some cool stuff, and Thank one of those, the coolest things is that she is now the host of Movie Talk, debuting this Monday, 3 p.m. PST. Make sure you check that shit out, yo. Like I said, the Houston Schmodown, it is big. It is going to go down in Booker T's arena in a wrestling ring, the SchmodownLive.com, and July 20th, Rachel Cushing puts the Inner Geekdom title on the line at Comic-Con. So if you're going to Comic-Con, get those tickets now, the SchmodownLive.com. Do it. Let the English see you do it. Braveheart, 1995.